guys, um, what do you want to do? You have stolen a goblin from the cave. Well, I would assume he's a little disgruntled. Um, he he's is, screaming, he's whining, he's whining and kind of, you know, being very kind of, um, you know, squirmy. But if you remember, he attempted to escape when you grabbed him and muffled his voice with your hand. Um, but much to avail. It was like you just literally lifted him up off the ground and drug him out under under due protest. Right, because I rolled like a boss. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so okay, go. so none of us speak goblin, correct? Do, That's do the sad truth. Do you speak goblin? He can... Uh, Radovan can understand goblin, but can't speak right. it. Radovan That's can do true. a comprehend language spell, yes. But what good will the interrogation go if all I hear is what he's saying? Well, we can answers, talk in can symbols. It. Talk yeah, in I mean, symbols. Show him the shinies, you know? You gotta show yeah, him yeah, draw show something out on the Where ground. The show, yeah, show the shinies. I know? have the blue rock. Okay. I do right. have it. So you're so, gonna, uh, like, okay. wave it at the goblin, or...? <laughs> it's just like you're, you're, you're tormenting the poor <laughs> buggers. Like, look okay. what I have. Look I what I have. You're kidnapped now. Draw the picture of the six... Fingered plant, like on the ground somehow. Yeah, with a stick. Um, we don't know what it looks like. <laughs> well, six, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can we can attempt. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a long night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that went the wrong way. It's on the whiskey. Exactly. Radovan, is, Radovan is already sneaking this is gonna be a long out, night. out of his um out of his um. Uh, yeah. I have a... Oh, wow. Yep. Um, so, goodness. Yeah, so gonna... you have a goblin. The question yeah. is what to do with it. All right. Um, okay, well, he's not getting away anytime soon, so I, we should probably take him far away from anywhere where there might be somebody who's going to notice. Right. So, so you're, right. <laughs> so you're, right. you're going you're gonna to use the, the sound wisdom of not interrogating a screaming goblin right at the entrance to the cave. i, I got to yes. go with that. i got to say that I probably agree with that concept. Yes. So I'm try. going to take him struggling and kicking over away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, yeah, you kind of pull him away from all reasonable <laughs> hearings range of the cave. Mm -hmm. I, um, he is still struggling and it is getting increasingly harder to hold on to this little guy. He's very I have squirmy. Rope. Well, I have can rope. we find some kind of rock or tree and tie him down? Ooh, time to a tree. Um, yes. Lack of trees up here on this mountainside, so you're gonna have to be looking at um, but yeah. the, rock, the rocks there. We could work. Well, I'm That's gonna it. time to himself then. I'm just gonna time up like a little taco. <laughs> <laughs> little time Guys, burrito. really, this this is the plan. You gotta <laughs> hit the bugger, you know. No, 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 no. You, gotta, no. you, you don't kill him, but you hit him. You know, you no, smack him upside the head. He Why could not? be a nice goblin. There are no nice goblins. Fuck that. No. <laughs> All goblins are, in theory, bad. <laughs> it's a stereotype, man. There's a but... nice goblin. He's Gobbo. Come on, let's kill Gobbo. Let's beat up Gobbo. Get some information out of him. Right. Hey, I don't want him to keep screaming. I want him to stop screaming. Okay, so basically you have, you have you've wrapped him round and round and round with rope, so he's just kind of stuck there now. He can't run away. Do you want to do anything to... I mean, here's the thing. I mean, of course, he is currently... Every time you try to take your hand away from his mouth, he attempts to scream, you know, scream bloody murder. Hmm. <laughs> you're gonna what do you got for that, Rada Man? Well, Bane, Bane has got a nasty, pointy dagger that she's, I, I'm assuming, is going to be putting at the goblin's throat. Oh, like, shut shit. your shut your trap or get some. Come, get some. Okay. I'm going to use so, this as motivation not to scream. <laughs> okay, so once you press your, your sharpened dagger against his neck, he does kind of go... <laughs> and, cl and close up. Okay. okay. So now you have a tied up and somewhat quieter goblin. What do you want to do with him? Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna cast my cleric spell, uh, comprehend languages. Okay. So you know, there. Here I go. Here I go. That's a good start. I agree with that. I'm, I've got eye contact <laughs> with the goblin here, and I'm just, I'm just holding oh. this. Okay. All right. I'm doing it. It's happening. We're having a silent conversation right now, oh, me and I, the goblin. Bam. Okay. <laughs> so basically, right. you're now you're you're now able to understand all manner of language. 
Um, Bill can't necessarily understand you, but you can understand him. Right now, he is saying... Nothing. <laughs> okay. So there's a dagger to his throat, and he knows what that means. Okay, let's get out a stick. What what terrain is it? Um, well, you're kind of on the rocky mountainside, so... Um, Crap. You've got a cave entrance about two to three hundred feet away. Any dirt or snow anywhere? Uh, you're not that high up yet. You're still kind of in the foothills. Okay. You just play charades with him, I guess. You know, <laughs> goblin charades. <laughs> Sounds like death. <laughs> <laughs> well, try to talk to him. I mean, hey, right. Gabo, what's up? Okay. Um, he okay, just okay. stares at I'm... you aimlessly. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> attempt to get him to focus on me. Okay, okay. so get his attention. So he's he, he paying attention. Like, yank it round to. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> this gobble. here, face here. Okay, so I'm getting him to look at me. Right. I'm doing this. Okay, <laughs> you look at me. Right. Does he does he understand what I'm trying to uh, do he here? He seems to, yeah. Okay. He definitely seems to understand the concept that the person holding the dagger should be the one he is most worried about and paying attention to. Okay, so I'm going to. Very skillfully reach into my pouch and pull out a herb and put it out and say, like, kind of let him get him to look at it. Okay. And then do one of these. Good start. All right, so he's looking. I'm gonna kind of point at it. Herb. <laughs> right. Okay. Right now, hey, we've got. This is me speaking goblin. Like, you're like a homicidal herbalist here. <laughs> the dagger. <laughs> okay, I need him to know I'm serious right now. Right. Don't fuck and with I'm, me. I'm yes. Right. <laughs> Okay, like, so he sees me pointing at the herb, uh -huh. and then I'm going to. I have a sheath. <laughs> Dagger there. Careful. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm assuming goblins can count. Um, Six. you can assume all you want. <laughs> okay. Right. So, so I'm gonna just do go ahead and assume it. Six, and I'm gonna wiggle my little fingers, okay. and then I'm gonna grab the herb again and grab my knife and point to it. And see if he comprehends any of that. He, um, well, he's still not speaking because he daren't. But he opens no. his mouth like. I don't know what I can't yeah, see. We, we yeah, can't we can't see, see you. Yeah, as I said, he, he's just opening his mouth. He's like looking at you with his mouth, with a wide open mouth, like feed me. Wait, is he got like the ah, or has he got the? No, he he looks very confused and bewildered. Okay, so he doesn't understand. There he is. Exactly like Radigan. Uh, completely bewildered right now. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, he is. Can, he's very confused. I mean, it's can you like, take your dagger and stencil it into the rock, like six leaves together? It's not a bad idea. <gasps> oh, can you draw a full moon? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to draw on a rock then. Kia, are you bringing me a rock? <laughs> okay, I'll bring you a rock. Okay. I'm gonna find you a rock. You're gonna draw a big old circle. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna draw this. In some clouds. <laughs> Alright, so you you draw She's you draw drawing. your circle on the there's, rock. There's there's my beautiful picture. <laughs> hey, draw so some clouds around that moon. <laughs> he doesn't know what that circle is. Or maybe do like uh do the fate the Phases of the moon, you know, like okay. put a crescent. Ah. Um, he's you know what I'm staring at it with a very puzzled, <laughs> confused look. Um, <laughs> My drawing abilities are stellar. Well, you've also got to realize, you know, you're carving into rock with a dagger. There's not going to be a whole lot of detail. A moon is going to look very much like a circle. <laughs> you're just giving us nothing, Gore. <laughs> hey, it's a goblin, and you can't speak, speak his language, and you won't let him talk. There. Phases of the moon. Nice. Alrighty. Nice. Okay. And then um, I'm going to point at this one. Full right. moon. Okay, which is ironically the one that is up in the sky right now. Yes. Oh, we could have just, <laughs> just There is a, there, there is a full moon. <laughs> oh, this is torturous. <laughs> See, you all, it's all taken for granted when you can speak to the monsters and the enemies, isn't it? Right? But when you can, yeah. it's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, well, okay, he, okay he, so. <laughs> he's studying it. He's like looking at your drawing, and it looks like his brain is like going, <gasps> doing overtime. He's trying to figure it out, but he just. He doesn't really he know. He just doesn't get it. Okay. Okay. Radaman okay. goes up behind the goblin and smacks him upside the head. Why and then in front of his face goes, 
talk. Okay. So you're gonna just Okay, when <laughs> okay. you say smack him I upside you the head, you're like him cuffing him upside the ear with your hand, right? You're not like Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh no no not this with any weapon or anything. This, this is just a Cuthbert's cudgel. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Okay. This is the this I'm impatient. Yeah, alright. You know, so you spit smack out what you him know. And he kind of lets out a sharp ah! And then very quickly closes okay. his mouth. Because he's like scared. The one thing he has comprehended and understood is Race's dagger is something he doesn't want to play with. Okay, Radovan, it's all you know. Well, yeah. I mean, I obviously scare. Well, I mean, <sighs> I do what I don't want to do. Right. I offer him some of my whiskey. You know, uh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to wow, him and be like, "You want some?" And then I look I look really pissed off at the two other ladies in my company <laughs> for their looking... Pictionary contest. Okay. Again, he, he looks extremely bewildered. I mean, imagine imagine what is going through this goblin's yeah. mind right now. Look, it's like Risa, these guys okay. kidnap him from his cave. <laughs> Next thing, they're trying to force feed him in his mind. You're force feeding him herbs, hold, tying him up, threatening him with a dagger, and now you're threat you're like waving some um, crazy, crazy, crazy liquid at him. <laughs> All right. Well, he knows what booze is. Risa, I I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna sneak back into the cave, and you're gonna keep kidnapping goblins. Kia's <laughs> gonna keep a lookout. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna I'll murder them, executioner style, one by one. We clear the cave out. We're good to go. What do you think? Um, I'm sure we're not gonna just find goblins just on their own sleeping like we did this one. They're gonna be in a pack somewhere. Well, that's you know, if that happens, you know what I'm saying? she comes out of the cave. No problem. No worries. You know, but. We're obviously not going to get answers from this little bastard, and we're not going to let him go. So Dude, let's... he doesn't know what we want. <laughs> right. That's not our fault. Why don't you show him the shiny well, and the see if he gets it interested? Spell does little for you if you don't let him. Well, he's too afraid <laughs> to speak. We'll find one who does speak. <laughs> go back in there, find one, maybe the one that that's not like a coward, and then we'll talk to him. You haven't even given him the chance to speak, though. Okay, just take you the dagger. You did the whole drawing from... thing. Take the dagger away from his throat, see what okay. happens. Okay, so you're gonna Wait, the dagger was at the thing's throat this whole time? Yeah. yeah. yeah she, and if it oh, wasn't well, at that's his throat, she'd be like pointing at him like... Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't, you don't this do one. that! Put it away. <laughs> okay, so you put the dagger Holy, away. Holy... Um, I did uh, right, he, he kind of... That's why I've been uh, holding it! Yeah, he's like, hey. <laughs> I stand corrected. I'm sorry. He breathes a sigh of relief. <sighs> he feels but he gets the point than, now. Oh yeah, he, he, I mean, he understands he's under duress for sure. And he knows that the dagger is looming. Yes. So okay. What do you, what do you, okay, so what do you want to do with him? How do you want to attempt to make Well, the speak? dagger's away, is he going to say You know thing? what? If we attempt to talk to him, he's going to attempt to answer back. Probably say he doesn't understand what we're saying. Yeah. But at least you can get him talking. And Radovan can understand him. Right. Radovan, go. It's your turn. You're on. Do, do the thing. See if you can get him talking. All right. Um. So I'm just talking, right? That's the, that's the plan. Okay, yeah. I that's mean, it. you're just gonna talk directly to him. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say hello in all the languages I know, um, to see if any of them stick. And as you know, I know common, uh, I know human, dwarven, elvish, and elvish. Those are the languages I know. Okay. So I'm gonna say hello. My name is Radaman Rainier in all of those languages to see if he responds to any one of them. Okay. Um, after kind of once he gets the con once he understands that you're trying to communicate with him, um, he says to you. And bear in mind, ladies, this is you can only you're only going to understand any of this if if um, Radovan repeats right. it to you. Which yeah. I will, I will. After everything he says, I will repeat it. Okay, so you're going to plan on repeating everything word perfect as he says it. In that case, then yeah, whatever I say. Okay, so. Okay. Right. So as soon as you say that, he says, "We kill you." <laughs> <laughs> All right, I smack him up the head again. <laughs> okay. Right away, like no, no, none of that shit. Okay. Uh, he kind of uh, looks. Let at me. Is what he goes. What you want from us? Flower, and I say that in every three languages. It's human, uh, dwarven, and elvish. Oh. Okay. Flower. All right, he kind of looks at you with a uh, strange look on his face. Now's the time to get out. He is point to the moon. Point to the moon. Uh, yeah, I point. Right, we point okay. to the moon. Okay. 
and he kind of looks up and stares at the stares at the moon, and he sort of scratches his head a little bit. Uh, Risa, sh show him the flower again, the herb that you have. So just product. a particular flower. Just herb, anyone. Herb. Just show them yeah. all. Just show them all. Okay. Uh, he kind of looks at it and he says, "Nasty plants." <laughs> And then I, I pointed his chest, and then I pointed the herbs, and I pointed his chest, and then I pointed the cave. Okay. In that says, order. No one to eat herbs, master. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Point at the, the moon, and then point at the rocks or something. Like, yeah, moon do this rocks motion, plants. Like, yeah, like moon rocks plants. Blooming plant. and dying. Okay. Um, he just he just like looks at you bewildered as you attempt to do your little. <laughs> Um, Off him. Yep. Yeah. After that, he just he kind of just stares at you and then starts just yelling at the top of his voice. He's oh, screaming. Shoot. Oh, you're gonna go. Okay. As soon as so the second he opens his trap and starts to scream, <laughs> yep. you're okay. Right you're across the throat. Him. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. So he's like. Hey. <laughs> whoa, Risa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit! And he what was done. that? <laughs> he is done. What is he that? didn't know anything. He's wasting my time. It's the full moon now. Gods we gotta go. Harsh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. But you know you are right. You've only got, in theory, tonight is a full moon. If you don't catch it tonight, um, it's, it's another true. month before you have it's any true. chance. Do you want to stay in the mountains a month? With no, no food. No. Uh, Bother that mountain man for food. No, you're right. Well, okay, fine. I mean, let's go. <laughs> well, you you have you have dispatched one goblin. He is dead. So uh, I would like to loot him. Okay. Oh, wait, we have time to loot, but not time to <laughs> fucking interrogate hey, the motherfucker? Hey, hey, well, you're standing second. around picking your nose. I'm looting him. Uh, right. <laughs> no, we're going. Let's go. Let's go into the caves. Hey, we don't I have can time. carry this motherfucker and loot him at the same time. <laughs> right, so, I mean, it doesn't. it's not going to take Racer very long. I mean, as you go, you're shaking your heads and wondering. I'm an expert. It's the principle of the thing, man. We don't have the time. Um, I'm an expert. Okay, basically, you find on him um, what appears to be um, a rat's tail. Ooh. Um, about three or four bones of some kind of rodent, um, and a rather worn and somewhat rusty dagger. Definitely doesn't take care of his stuff. I'm gonna keep the rat tail and one of the bones. Why? Alrighty. <laughs> I have reasons. <laughs> I look at Raysa. <laughs> I, I just don't care anymore. She's a weirdo. <laughs> you fell in love with a mountain man I, I, like the first night. Come on. Okay, so you Who go back this? to the cave entrance. So you're all there. Okay. Um, and I, I take um, it, Race, are you going to go in first? Or what's the Well, do we need to go in this cave? Can we just, like, you know, look at the rocks first? Oh, absolutely. It's just just saying. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, we could just look around the cave for a second. I feel like we're not going to find anything. Yeah, because okay. I'm sure the goblins are on their way to tr to get to this plant. Right. So right should we now. wait for them to come out then, and then follow them? Let's go He's in. He's shaking his head. Going, going in? in? Oh, fuck, man. Okay, stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go in. All I'm right. scared. Okay, so Rata um, yeah, Radavan goes in first. Okay, so just Rata tromps on in. Radavan, okay, so Radavan wanders straight into the cave. Um, who's behind Radavan? I'm in the shadows. Okay. I mean, the, the cave entrance is only about five foot wide. At the, en the entry tunnel, so it's it's pretty... You know, you, you're kind of almost having to kind of go in single file. Uh, I I'm call hiding. middle. Okay, so you're calling middle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Position of safety. Yep. Okay, guys, so um, here is our adventurers right here, as you can see. Radovan right. here up front, Kieliana behind, and Racer. So, what do you see? Well, the entrance of the cave, um, as I said, it's only about four to five feet wide, and it's six foot tall. There's a dim glow from a fire that can be seen up ahead. Um, the cave opens into a cavern. There's approximately 50 feet by 30 foot wide. There are four passageways that can be seen extending from the, t uh, extending from the main chamber. Two to the south, two to the west. There are crates and barrels piled up against the northern wall. Um, other rudimentary piles of trash, garbage, and junk can also be seen. Currently, though, you can see nothing else except where that goblin was in the little alcove directly to your left. There's nothing else currently here. So 
it does appear that nothing else has been alerted. Or maybe it was a single goblin that lived in this massive cave all by himself. Uh, so we can't see any more goblins? Not right now, no. All you can basically see is like this big open cave and the four entrances and exits. As I said, two to the south and two to the west. And there are a big pile of crates and barrels kind of um, to your right. I would like to search through those crates and barrels to see if there's any things. Alrighty, so you're going over to those. Alright. Stealthily. Okie dokie. Your <laughs> like efforts at stealth are somewhat nullified by the clanging and clattering of Radovan Rainier, but if he stays He's still... He's not even moving. <laughs> oh, I'm moving. We're going. Okay. Yeah. okay, so... We're about to die. I walk right over here. Okay, so um, you're I looking at ten, so... Right okay, here. yeah, so you're going to move there. Kia's moving to the fireplace, okay. Alright, so Kia, you're standing what looks like... You're standing right next to what looks like a big old pile of bones. Various different oh, animals great. and rodents and stuff. Um, they're obviously not the cleanest people in the world. Um, Radovan, directly across in front of you is a pile of what looks like other forms of garbage. Um, Raysa, you check the crates and the barrels. The majority of the crates seem to contain somewhat rotten food. Um, there's probably not enough rotten food here to indicate that they never touched it, but it looks like a lot of the food went bad before they actually consumed it. Um, okay. The barrels, however, um, one of them... The lid is broken off, and the liquid is, is spilled out. It's dried, and it's, it's empty. The other has been untouched. So there is actually a full barrel and an empty barrel. Can I tell what the the liquid was? Um, you could. I mean, you could, like, dip your finger in the residue, or just to kind of get a taste. You could <laughs> I want to smell. You want to smell it? Okay. I don't it think I want to taste it. It has a strange kind of vinegary smell. Does it, uh, can I identify it at all? Um, prob- well, I mean- Go for a taste. Yeah, it's difficult just from the <laughs> smell. I mean- No, I'm good. <laughs> but I mean, you do have an entire barrel of the full liquid as well. No. Nope. No, I'm just gonna kinda tuck in behind because I think that Radovan has put us in a really bad situation. So I'm gonna hide. Oh, is that hide. So? Uh, go Which ahead and make really your hide um, make Really your... good if uh, I need to attack something. Right. Yeah, you've got good shortly. Cover there. So um, using the barrels as well, uh, make your um, hide check. But I'll give you a plus four. Okay. Eighteen then. <laughs> All righty. Or so, sixteen yeah. rather. You I... pop. You, you basically pop down and crouch, disappearing behind the big pile of trashy barrels and an old crate. It's kind of stanky back there because of all the rotten <laughs> food, but at the end of the day, you know, you are well hidden. Okay, Racer. Um, so that, that's you. What are you going to do, Kia? Is there any place else to duck behind? <laughs> um, not really. There's not really. The only other place to hide, I mean, you could go yeah. back up to the entrance and hide in the little alcove. Um... Kind of like right Just here. peeking out, you know, yeah. a little bit. You can kind of pop behind there. So that, that's Do we spot. hear anything? Um, you haven't really heard anything yet. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna just stand and see what Radovan does. <laughs> okay, Radovan, so what are you gonna do? I'm gonna look down each one of these corridors, at least the three nearest me, right? The one okay. to the west and one to the south. I'm gonna see what I can see, and I'm gonna smell the air to see how it smells. But right. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna be quiet or. Gotcha. Show me which one you're going to first. All right. I start with the one uh, north, the northwest one, that one. All right. So you kind of just wander over, mm -hmm. um, and pop yourself down and, and peer down the tunnel. All righty. Um, well, the passage is approximately five by five. Um, it's about 30 foot long, but you can see a dim glow at the other end of it. Um, it's like a flickering light, indicating it's probably coming from some kind of torchlight or fire. Okay. Um, however, you also have heard, like, at the very far end, you hear a very low... Oh, it's a little dog. Uh, and then, in <laughs> a, a very dog. familiar Chihuahua. sounding dialect, you hear something say, um... And, a, and you hear a, what sounds like something get kicked, and a. <laughs> what the heck? 
Okay. Could he understand it since he's... Yeah, um, what did they say? I mean, the, no, because the time it took you to get from where you were Dang to back it. in here, that spell was gone. That only lasted a couple of Wow. Well. Yes. And and it was foiled by Raisa slitting his throat. Mm-hmm. I see how it is. Oh, okay. it wasn't foiled yes. by it. I mean, the, the alternative oh, I call, is I, I, he would rat, have let out a good alarm. <laughs> oh, we're fine. I uh, clank over to this one to see what I hear and see. Okay. Um, looking down that tunnel... Um, you actually can see a, a gl- again what looks like a dim light, a little little light, uh, kind of a little bit dimmer than the the one in the pre- in the previous cave. Um, you can see what looks like three piles of rags piled up um, as kind of like makeshift beds, um, and you can also see some shadows moving. Um, oh my God. Basically, with the torchlight at the back. It's kind of eradicating to or irradiating the, the the wall, the northernmost wall. So kind of along here, and yeah. you can see three shadows like moving along, coming in your direction. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <Jeez>. Um, <laughs> I turn around and I immediately don't see Raisa anywhere. Nope, Raisa's but Raisa's gone from view. And in fact, and so I, is Kia right now. Uh, guys, I say. <laughs> okay. Si- Upon si- saying guys, you hear three kind of <laughs> and and out of the tunnel come charging. What? Three charging? Little oh. goblins all in a row. Okay. And they basically come pouring out of the tunnel um, towards you. Yeah, when he said guys, I don't fucking move. <laughs> right. Um, as soon as they scream, you also hear another goblin yell from the tunnel that you was at before. And then you hear what sounds like something go ching. And within literally seconds, a huge, big, gnarly wolf has oh come gosh. charging to the entrance <laughs> oh and is like uh, crouched down like at the entrance of the cave, looking straight at you, going. <laughs> all right, uh, right, all these on. guys are not stopping. They're running straight at you. So, uh, initiative for everybody. Um, oh my you can gosh. roll your initiative even if you don't plan on actually acting right now. 11. Alright, so we have... Oh, Risa. yeah. Go me. Wow. <laughs> Look at it. A big, fat nothing. <laughs> okay, so it's Kia, Racer, Radovan. Let's check for the gobos. Oh, they're going. Okay. And then so what I'm thinking... Them. Is we don't want to? Do we want to kill these things? Because aren't we tw- trying to follow them to find the plant? Um, yeah. You want to stand in front of them and then ponder that yeah, question for killing them. With them, right? Like, <laughs> should we run away, away and hide? <laughs> run away and hide? I don't okay. know. And try later. I mean, try to d- no, get out of their view and then try to follow them. Since I don't yeah, know. Right now, well, in any case, Kia, you, you get Radavan. to act first. So you see the goblins turn <laughs> forward towards Radavan, and the wolf suddenly appear from the uh, in from the, the tunnel above. What do you want to do? Oh crap! Okay, I'm going with my classic level one Kia move. Guess what that is? You're gonna grace the area in front of him. Yeah, because I don't know what else to do here, and it'll give us time to run if we do decide to run. Okay, okay. So, um, all right, so we got grease right here. Okay. So, Kia, you cast the grease spell. Um, right, the wolf. Basically, he's acting next. Um, he is leaping straight at Radovan. Um, he's pretty much airborne, so he doesn't touch the grease initially. Um, but he will land in it. Um, okay. <laughs> the, the wolf comes charging forward, um, snapping wildly at Radovan. Um, the shield, however, held valiantly in front of him, manages to deflect most of the gnashing, nasty, pointy teeth. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, Racer, um, from your hidden spot, it is your your turn in the, in the rotation. I have a pretty good vantage point to take a nice arrow shot at that wolf right for the head. Yes, you do, and that's 20 feet right so you can get a point blank shot on him. So plus five, right? Plus five to hit, yep. Right. You know you want to do this, right, guys? Twelve. Alrighty, a twelve. Um, the arrow um, flies 
just just slightly above the wolf and smashes into the wall over on this side. Way to go! <laughs> okay, um, the goblins charge forward, um, running straight into the grease spell. And we will make saving throws for the goblins. And every single goblin slips, slides. Yes! <laughs> this guy okay. kind of slides straight through the grease landing over here. The other two kind of just slip and slide and land on their backsides. So um, right now, all of the goblins around you are um, epically laying around, just slipping, sliding, and trying to get up. Um, Radovan, your turn. All right, I'm going to attack the wolf thing, because it's like still up and attacking me, right? So if I were to back up, it would have an attack of opportunity? I'm uh, Not if you... You can back up defensively without doing that. It's only if you like drop your defenses and try and run. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'm going to back up defensively to be wedged between the fire pit and the, um, well, not right there, but right here, and the barrels, to give me, to give them, like, a, a narrow corridor to attack me with, um, and... Yeah, okay, so you're going to try to back up okay? between the barrels and the fire, yep, okay. And then I'm going to cast, um, my spell Bless, so everyone has plus one on attack rolls and save against spears, because right. I'm, I'm in it to win it, I'm not in it to run. Okay, so everyone's got plus one attack and one versus save versus fear. Okay. Um, Kia, it is your turn. Now you can see Radovan is backed up. The wolf is hard pressing him and snash, uh, gnashing away at him as he moves backwards. Okay, let me let me uh, missile the wolf. Okay, magic missile, D4 plus one. Missile. Oh, okay, a ball of blue glowing light lights up the cave and smacks into the side of the wolf. It lets out a loud yelp in pain. <laughs> um, but it doesn't seem to deter it too much. It kind of turns and like snaps at it, like oh. almost as if it was something it could bite, <laughs> um, like a bug. Exactly. A bug. Like a little bug. Okay. Um, next, we have the wolf that once again is trying to savage Radovan Rainier. It dives forward once again, snash, snash, snash. But that shield is still—you're hiding behind Ooh, that yeah. shield just like a. Oh spine. yeah. Yep. Is Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> yup. That shield is my life, baby. Okay, Racer, it is your turn. Um, there's still 10 foot between you and the wolf. You can shoot it again, or you can try to plug one of the goblins on the ground. Um. I think we'll go after one of the goblins. Hi. Uh, so, do I get plus six now? Um, no, it's still. Uh, yes, yes, sorry. Fuck, man. Twelve. Still don't understand the point of killing no. all of these things. <laughs> okay, the good news is you're all still oh, alive. No. The bad news is three more goblins just come out of this other tunnel right here. Come on, come run! <laughs> <laughs> Told you we should have run. Uh, Alrighty. Um, right, these goblins all attempting to get up. All of them fail miserably. Okay, these three. There's a fire between them or the fire between them and um, Radovan. So they are, bearing in mind, they are unaware that anyone is here except Radovan. Oh my gosh. So they are coming round um, with an attempt blank our... Oh. This one back run. here is staying put. Oh, my beautiful backside. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you back. Oh, oh no, <laughs> what was that? Okay. What well, the? Uh, <laughs> it's oh, looking you... fun for you guys. Um, <laughs> you got. <laughs> we have to run. Right, so, this is um, stupid. <laughs> where, <laughs> where were we at in the rotation? Um, okay, so the goblins have come up. Um, Redavan had done that, so we're back to. To me. Um, right. Yes, yeah. back to Redavan. All right. All right. Um... Shit. I attack the wolf. Okay. Just a regular morning star attack. Uh, yeah, re regular morning star attack. Of course, you've got an additional plus one because of your blessed spell. So it's plus four now, not plus three, right? Yes. Plus four. Oh my god. A <laughs> nine with an epic fail. Okay. <laughs> Being obviously distracted by the goblins coming around the side, um, you swing, but without full attention, you <laughs> miss the agile wolf. Okay. Back to Kia. So okay, what, what you... if I cause a distraction, guys, and we run? Anybody down for that? 
Um, you I thought we should have done that at the very fucking beginning, but well, so bear did in mind, I. If you have this conversation, the goblins can hear you talk. Yeah. Uh, so, they, but they do they understand English? Understand us, uh, no, yeah. but they will understand that there's some a voice coming from behind the barrels. Is my point. So remember, they don't know you're here. Yeah, they That's... don't know you're here yet. But if you, if you, if you answer Kia, she's they're going to know. So okay. So what are do you doing, well, Kia? Well, I'm gonna. You gotta act. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do. <sighs> this is what can I'm gonna whisper, do. Can we whisper? Can we whisper to each other without her having to cast her spell because we're superhuman elves? No. <laughs> twenty feet, twenty feet between you. Okay. You're in a cave, and there's lots of yelling and screaming goblins. <laughs> I'm going to do a ghost sound in the upper left um, tunnel there. So up here. Um, it's going to be the sound of Radiv It's going to sound like Radovan clanging with his morning star onto his shield, like. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. Um, and right when that sound happens, I'm just going to yell to Radovan and uh, race out, run. And I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna start running away. Okay, so you can't. So you cast sound to come from this tunnel over here, which sounds like someone banging heavily with a weapon on their shield. Um, yes. As soon as you do so, you're screaming, "Run!" And you're just you're running straight through the. You're, you're heading out um, the tunnel, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, <laughs> okay so that's what Kia's doing. Right. Um, <laughs> the wolf jumps at Radavan and misses. Um, it is now Racer's turn to act. What are you going to do, Racer? You can see uh, Kieliana legging it out the tunnel. You hear the clanging sound. Uh, you have a, dis you you have a, you have a split death. decision to make. You've got to act. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to run out and I'm going to position myself at the mouth of the cave ready to, to backstab them when they come running after us. Okay, so you, you are also fleeing out of the cave. <laughs> Damn, what is own. wrong with you people? Okay. You can't defeat the We're heroes. going, they're going to be off. like worshipping the herb as the whole group and okay, you want to goblins. steal it. Fine, yes, goblins. Well, the goblin over here with the with the short bow, uh, he fires an arrow at Radovan and misses. Um, these goblins are basically, they're moving yeah. into position, so Radovan is pretty much cut off from retreat. Oh my um, gosh. Switch alert and it's not working. It keeps dying all by itself. That's weird. Um, I'll have to fix that in a second. So, um, uh. yeah. Um, the goblins are on the floor. They're attempting to get up. One of them, this guy, has gotten up. So he is now on his feet. But he's still not able to act this round. That was his action. Okay. Um, this dude over here that appeared... Um, he is finger wiggling. Um, where are we at? Oh no. Yes. What are we gonna do? I'll probably die. No, it's okay. But, um, <laughs> Seriously. Right, he is casting, he basically does finger wiggling. Um, you need to make a willpower saving throw, please, Radovan. Oh no, do I have to? <laughs> Radavan didn't like elves before, damn. <laughs> uh, willpower, so that's what? Uh, your willpower six save. Six for me? Willpower um, save? Oh, base save? Uh, yeah, your, your save currently, I think, is. Is it? It's five or six? It's, it's six. Okay, so six plus <laughs> your d20. Come One on. d20 plus six, right? Yeah. Come on, oh, yes! Oh, nice, 24. Okay, his. Um, you you kind of feel like, almost like some kind of powerful darkness trying to descend upon you and infiltrate your soul. Um, <laughs> however, being oh, so sad. strong in the ways of Kartha, you manage to resist it. Um, your will is too strong. You do not give in to the dark magic. Well, but. Um, I'm surrounded. The two goblins behind you are both making attacks, one of which hits you primarily because he's got additional bonuses because he's flanking you. Mm -hmm. You feel like you feel a, a loud whack kind of on your on your, your kind of rear ribs is like ah max you with his sword. Um, it does four points of damage. Oh. It wasn't the worst blow in the world. Um, certainly wasn't oh, anything I felt worse. To that ogre, but um Yeah, there's many little ones, these bastards. Right. Yep, okay. So, um, now it's down to you, Rad. What do you want to do? So, how large is this um, cave? Like, 
I mean, each square is 10 foot, so you're looking at 10, 20, 30, about 50 foot what, wide and about 30 foot deep. And what's wise, the ceiling? Uh, about 10 to 12 feet. So if I grew <laughs> large, would that... I mean, if that would you take cast a whole your turn. large spell, um, it will. You will fit. Yeah, you'll still be in the. You won't be. You won't have to stoop over in the cage, in the cave. But it would take my whole turn. It will be your turn, yeah. And they might not be uh, flying hell about it. They might not. Or just they, listen or to they us, might. Red Man. Get out. Try to well, get out. Of there. How am I gonna get out? I'm, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you just elves abandoned me. <laughs> this is why I hate elves. As a, as we a, didn't a, abandon you. We told you to run. Yeah. Because otherwise, while you're thinking about it, they're just gonna ma they're, they're just gonna massacre you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna enlarge. I'm gonna go as big as I possibly can because I need to instill some fear in these guys. Okay. Radavan cast enlarge, growing huge and terrifying. Um. I let me make a dust roll. Right. Well, first things first. Um, as soon as you do that. The wolf doesn't seem to be too bothered, um, but Ooh. these two these two goblins do kind of like, almost like leap back a couple of feet, like holy shit. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it definitely got their attention. Is you know, I mean, there's this six foot two guy suddenly he's almost ten foot tall, and they're like, Ugh. so yeah, it, it definitely it definitely got their attention. Um, the good news is, as I said, these two kind of backed away from you, so um, that that definitely helped. Right. Meanwhile. Eliana, you ran out of the cave, so you're now outside of the cave, as <laughs> is Racer. Um, Didn't work. So, realizing, um, looking kind of back in, you can you can see goblins between you and a now very large Radovan. And they're like all around him. He's, he's like, he's seriously pressed. He's in a bad situation. Big yeah. or not. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna run in... Run back in, not all the way in, but till uh, where I can reach the first goblin I see and just missile him because I'm really hating Radovan at this moment. It's not his fault. He couldn't get out. <laughs> what did I? Okay, so you're going to magic missile the first. Okay, so blast the goblin. D4 Everything's Radovan's fault. I know. It's Blame everything Radovan. I've ever done. Blame Radovan. Oh my gosh. Okay, you nuke the, you, your blue. Um, well, the good news is. Um, it totally catches him by surprise. He gets blasted in the back. He lets out a loud... Ah! And several of the goblins are now kind of looking in your direction. Um, so, what, do you, what about race up? What do you want to do? Now they're looking? Yeah, this guy is now kind of looking in direction. So I can't shanky-shank him in the back? Um, well, you, I mean, if you stay at the cave entrance and they come out, then absolutely. But right now, they're they're not leaving the cave. They they seem to be preoccupied. Can I get an, a shot off without hitting Kia? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, Arrow. Then I'll try and hit him in the head. Hopefully, not hitting Radovan in the process. Well, as long as you're not shooting the wolf, which is the only one in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Radovan right now. Um, okay. So, uh, am I within the sh point blank? Yep. And you're still under bless, so plus six. Eleven. Eleven. Another miss. Oh my god. I think Cuthbert is not with you guys today. Um, mm -hmm. right, the arrow goes flying into the flying in but misses the goblin. Okay, wolf time. The wolf <laughs> um, snaps yeah. once again at Radavan's ankle and it doesn't get hold of him at all. It's slipping and sliding, it's like his teeth are just not able to get hold of that shiny armor. Run, Radavan! Um, and now, actually, I gotta roll for the goblins. No, no, you don't. They can just fail. That's fine. <laughs> well, the grease <laughs> spell has now disappeared. So these two are getting up. This one has moved up to stab at you um, from the um, from the side there. And this goblin, rather than attack Radovan, is actually kind of just coming here um, to back up his little buddy. So the goblin with the short bow shoots and misses. Goblin close to you with the spear. Stabs violently, um, but doesn't manage to penetrate and get past your shield. These two Yay. goblins stand up. No. And once again, the finger wiggler at the back. Um, he is casting another spell. And Radovan, you need to make another willpower check. Oh my god. Ugh. Another willpower check. Radovan. Radovan. This is so sad. Radovan. This is the death Radovan. of Radovan, guys. Radovan, no! Oh. 
You failed. That's not oh, wait. good. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's an eight because it's supposed to be a six, but yeah, right. it's um. Okay. Um, it's only yeah. Okay, this time you have more of a um feeling of dread, um and terror, like a shadowy visage comes out of the dark and like hits you straight in the face, like this big demonic goblinoid face. Um, it is absolutely terrifying. The only thing you can think to do is turn and flee in terror. Yay! Um, so Radovan <laughs> is making it a, non, a, a non-voluntary treat. Um, as he does so, however, that sparks an attack of opportunity from the wolf, which snaps oh, at him no, as he leaves no. and misses. The goblin with the short spear lunges forward and also misses. Um, these two goblins, um, this guy right here, will swing at you as you attempt to run past him. And he misses. Um, <laughs> you're not going to be stopping to politely move out of the way of this goblin, so you're going to be bull rushing straight past and through him. So he's he's not really going to have um, much say. Do you wish to strike him as you run as you kind of run <laughs> through? Or uh, hell yeah, are you kidding me? I right, um, can can we, can I replace this goblin with one of the women who are with me? <laughs> no, no. Okay, uh, take a take a wild swing at him as you flee. All right. Um, it's, it's just one d twenty. So it's like, it's logical that you would try to swat him aside. So it's one d twenty plus four, right? Because I uh, still have my bless. Yes. Or am I feared? So now it's different. No, no. Um, you're, the, the bless is still in effect. Huh. Okay, you swat at him, but miss. Okay, as you as you kind of charge into the corridor. Okay, so guys, um, okay. Teresa we and have a Kia, plan. Um, you can see a very large Radovan trying and struggling to. Squ- to fit down, because remember here it goes down to five foot oh, or six yeah. foot, so he's almost <laughs> hunched over trying to squeeze out. Um, and the horde of goblins is filling in behind him. We have a plan. So, we have a all right. So what are you guys? Plan. So um, what are you guys gonna do? Okay. So, uh, I don't know if we can do this, but we want to work together on this one. So yeah. as we see the uh, large Radovan running at us. I want to yell to Kia, catch, and I'm going to throw an end of the rope at her that I have. Okay. And we're going to go to the outside of the cave. I'm on one side, she's on the other, rope down, waiting for Radovan to exit. And as soon as he does, we're going to stand up with the rope about, you know, two and a half feet off the ground, which should be nice chest height on goblins. Right. And we're going to try and clothesline all of them. (laughs) So if they come running out, if yes. I'm charging out, your goal is to try to clothesline them. Okay, I got okay. you. That yes. Right, so it's not going to be a very high clothesline then. <laughs> Rope for the win. Okay. <laughs> My God. Right, so you guys, basically, you're backing out of the cave. Um, Radovan is charging out of the cave, and the goblins are up for some. Do I need to grease Radovan to get him out of there? <laughs> grease <that> death guy. <laughs> All right, well, uh, okay, well, let's see what happens there. Uh, we're going to take a quick... Okay, so can you I shake a bitch? You are pretty close to these guys. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can, I mean, it won't be a backstab, but you can You can dive upon the innocent goblin and ram your short sword through his gut, if that's what you wish to do. Yes. Yeah. As much damage as possible to as many as possible. Make oh, it happen. Okay, um, so go right ahead. Stab away. I'm gonna move okay. this over here so that these people can see the um, see the dice roll. Uh, okay. So I haven't used my short. Or am I using my short sword or my dagger? Um, probably short sword. Probably hey? short sword. Yeah. You're you're not unless you're sh- you know, in hand to hand combat, short sword's gonna be your option. Stabby stabby. Okay, I haven't rolled this <laughs> Mr. Pointy, very much. Get Mr. Pointy out. <laughs> so, um, is it still a D20? Uh, it is, for you, it is no. D20 plus one, actually, but it's D20 plus two, because of the blessed okay. spell is still in effect. Yeah, I haven't used this yet, guys, so sorry about yep, that. So D20 right, plus go. two. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, um, you actually hit him, because he is unarmored, and being on the ground, he counts as prone. Yay! Um, so you stab him violently, um, D6 plus one for your damage. It is just a wickle goblin. D6. Four. Four. Okay. Well, this is also the goblin that um, got ma- um, got um, treated to a free magic missile from the um, Keliana a little earlier. So um, you stab down violently with your short sword, 
and skewer him to the Yay. floor. He is dead. Deceased. Yes. One goblin down. Well, well um, actually, two goblins down because you already shanked one. Death. Death yeah. by stereo. There we go. Okay. Um. <coughs> there's one that is kind of at the entrance. Um. Next thing that comes flying out of the cave is the wolf. It's the wolf. It's the wolf. And I'm gonna make a the wolf. The wolf. <laughs> I'm gonna make a dice roll. I'm gonna roll a d6. One d3, uh, one, two, or three. It is going to jump at Racer. Four, five, or six. It is going to jump at Kiana. Crap! I'm gonna die. Let's see. See what happens. Oh, Racer. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's see the survivalists come out now. Yes, I'm not getting killed. <laughs> Okay, oh, no. it comes out and dives towards you. Fortunately, the rope's still being semi-taut. Um, it kind of, its leg catches on it as it snaps. Yes. And the, the, the teeth are like, just literally inches away from your thighs. It's like, <laughs> snatching at you. Oh my gosh. Okay, the other, um, the one goblin that was at the entrance and another goblin now come charging out. Um, of course, you don't have the rope tight. But what they do run into is your grease spell. Get and it. they both fall flat on their butts. So now Better. you have two more laying down goblins as they slip and slide in your magical grease. You guys should like open up some kind of, um, you know, this would be like a mud wrestling thing. Kia can have an em <laughs> endless supply of grease, and they can all just. Like, Kia's mud well, wrestling. <laughs> Radovan already has an idea how he's going to get down the mountain with a slip and slide. You know, oh, there you go. There right, you it's go. The quick exit. Yeah. 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 Oh Kia greases God. the top, and you just zoom down as fast. As <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Okay. Um, so uh, yes, the two goblins are on the on their backs. Grease, awesome spell. So um, yep, used properly, grease is a really cool spell. Only lasts two yeah, rounds, definitely. but you know what? If it dumps them on their ass and you got someone ready to stab them, it's used. Okay. Um, Radovan, it's your turn. Oh yeah, you're running away still. Okay, so <laughs> now we're gonna <laughs> now we're going to here. Burn. The good news is that's the last round that you're running away. So you've got. You can turn well, around in a minute. You're going to suddenly realize that you were running like a little girl from some goblins. And then you're going to look <laughs> to St. Cuthbert and be like, St. Cuthbert, do not, I will not fail you. And turn around and charge back. And, <laughs> and, the, and the guy is going to pop out and fear you again. And then, <laughs> I might just keep running. <laughs> yeah, just keep running. Pretend just you were under running. the spell the entire time, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fake it. I'm going to realize show. the reality. I'm going to show up like, at the mountain man's uh, hut. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, what's hey, up, man? What's up? <laughs> oh, uh, you know, let's, I, let's start. I let's start. Them. I think they were killed by goblins. Let's just yeah. Out. Let's start a still and make some our own moonshine. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're good okay. to go. All right. So, um, yeah. What do you want to do now? So you have got a grease spell on the floor. There are two up. goblins laying there, trying their best to get up from your slippery, nasty, gooey mess. I'm taking my staff and whipping them into shape. Okay, so you're gonna belt one with your quarter staff. Um. The bless spell is now down, so it's a normal. Dang it. Actually, no. You got this. This is the last round for your bless, so it's D six plus oh. one still for you, or plus two. I, I have think. to do D twenty first. Yeah. yeah, that's right. No, D twenty plus two to hit, and D six plus one for your damage. Ah, oh, that's enough because he's prone. Oh. <laughs> so you smack him. So um, belt him with your quarter staff. D six damage plus one. Reese is the word. <laughs> Yay. Six. Okay, you bring yeah. the kind of dab down violently with the edge of your quarterstaff, cracking him right on the side of the temple with a gratifying thump. And he just, his eyes roll in the back of his head like, Ugh. Gone. He's deceased. The goblin down. The other one bites to dust. Okay, Risa, it is your turn. All right, what is the situation around me? Are there people within striking distance or am I bowing it up here? Okay, you have one on the floor in striking distance and there is a big wolf trying to rip Kia's throat out. Um, you know, I think we've got to about that guy. <laughs> yeah, you might want to not forget about that guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know. um, and if he's that. at Kia, she's on the opposite side, so I think I could shank a bitch wolf. Um, <laughs> you can try, yeah. <laughs> So you want to attempt to you want to attempt to do a, a backstab on the wolf? Yep, let's do it. All right, make an attack roll if you hit, and you're at uh, please, D twenty please, plus please. two. Nine. Uh, unfortunately, you miss. Close, but ah! no cigar. 
The wolf is a little Rather more agile than the average me. goblin. Okay, um, so. Dim roll fails. Ah. Okay, yes. Next, so this round, the wolf, um, unfortunately, Kia. Um, no, this time, the wolf doesn't miss. Okay. Um, and the immense pain that you feel in your upper thigh as his teeth sink into the flesh. I'm doing sorry. Five Kia. points of damage. It hurts I like a son of a in critical condition right um, now. Yeah, that really hurts. That's that's a lot for a little level two. That's out of take. eight. I yeah, have so three you're down left. To three hit points. That's that's pretty rough. Um, I'm the sorry, other goblin Kia. attempts to get up. You failed me. And he I does did. so. The goblin gets to his feet. Um, the second goblin with the short spear also comes charging out, but he has a grease spell to deal with first. But he does not fall over. Um, as he gets to the entrance, he hurls the spear in Race's direction, like, ah, lets it fly. Um, I'm a ninja. Which doesn't really do him any good as it kind of disappears about two foot past her left side and somewhere off into the darkness, and you hear a clang, clang, clang as it disappears down the mountainside. Okay, Redavan. Okay. <laughs> you are now unfeared. So, and yeah. turning round, you can kind of look back and see with the dim glow from the entrance to the cave. <laughs> Um, goblins, goblins, everywhere goblins, and the two elven girls fighting valiantly. Um, and it looks like basically Fido is on, is like, his is, is like on top of Kia Liana. It's like, oh, and she's like doing her best to keep it off of her throat. Okay. So, save me. Obviously, I'm going to steal myself and return to the battlefield. Okay. So wondering, but I, I have to run back. So. Okay, so you won't. It'll be too. It'll. You won't be able to act this turn, and you will be able to act at the end of the next turn. So you'll act last in in the next turn after that. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Kia, Kia Liana, as the wolf attempts to rip huge chunks of flesh from your person. What do you want to do? Uh, if you uh, want to cast a spell, you are going to have to make a concentration, uh, concentration check, which is a first for you. Um, and the difficulty is going to be uh, 14. Okay. And that's I, actually, no, is there, 15, sorry. Can I run away anywhere to where the wolf can't get to me? Uh, if you try to or, run, the wolf will get an attack of opportunity and probably oh kill gosh. you. But you really okay. have two choices. You can belt the thing with the quarterstaff, attempt to cast a spell, but you have to succeed a concentration check. The reason is because you're in such excruciating pain, you actually have to be able to concentrate enough through that pain to cast that spell. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. Don't you um. die. <laughs> Don't you die on us. Oh... Well, let's, okay. What do I have to get as far as my roll to um, to hit him with my quarter staff? Oh, d20 plus one. Right, but what what number am I shooting for? Well, I'd like to know. You don't know. Dang it! Because <laughs> I was thinking, okay, if I don't know how, constitution don't know how hard is the, 14, you don't that's know how pretty hard high. The wolf is to hit. So it's your choice. You want to belt it, or do you want to try to cast concentration? You got to think about it. If you're going to cast a spell, what spell are you going to cast? It's going to get you out of the frying pan right now. Uh, I hate this. Yes. <laughs> You've got red on you. <laughs> okay. If I hit him with my staff, will he? Don't know. If I miss. <laughs> He's going to kill me, basically. It could. You'll find out. It might miss you. I know, but... I okay. might not. <laughs> I'm going to have to press you if, I'm going to have to press you for a decision here. Ding, okay, I'm going to I'm going to hit him with ding, my staff. Ding. Okay. E20 plus Ooh. one. <laughs> oh, my this God. is nerve-wracking. Yes, the epicness of violence. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. With the wolf pressing down on you, you just find it too hard to maneuver your quarterstaff into a position to do any real harm to the no. beast. Um, so that fails miserably. Racer. Oh, God. Mom, I gotta attack him again. I gotta save Kia. Okay. Save, save Kia! So you lunge at him again with oh your sword. Oh, my gosh. This is yes. so bad. Sword is plus two. Do we still have bless or no? No, no we don't, right? No, gone. D20 plus one. 17! Yes! 17, yes, you managed to hit it. So you um, stab violently towards the, the wolf, 
and you do have its back, so if you hit, you will actually get your backstab bonus. Okay, oh, so... So, one six. so, um... You... Or be, you're, you're doing 1d6 plus 1d6, so basically 2d6 <laughs> worth of damage. So I just roll 2d6 then? Yeah. 10. Alright, um, with the damage already done to it, you stab violently at the wolf. Your sword sinks in down into the kind of like glances off its spine through its ribs and goes right down into the squishy parts. And it lets out a really loud oh, yes. as it kind of backs away, flops on its side, bounces over a couple of times almost like a cat that's like flipping, um, and then after a few seconds it is ceasing to move. Yes! Oh the my gosh! Oh, he's life. racist! Yes! You are, you are saved. However, the goblin that no. threw the spear at you, um, he, he has drawn his sword, he comes charging in and hacks at you wildly, missing. Fortunately for you. Um, the other one that was also there that got up last round, he lunges forward and stabs at you. And he misses you. Good job you're quick on your feet. So now, guys, outside, you basically have two goblins, oh one each, and they are relentless in their attack. Okay, from the entrance, kind of, you also see the green-robed, strange little fellow that was casting spells at the back of the cave as well. Um, he's not, he's, there's like the two goblins are between him and you guys, so he's like using them as a shield. So... Um, Radovan, you're running back. You get to act this round, but at the end of the round. <laughs> I'm so okay, tired. <laughs> so it is back to Kia Liana. What are you doing, Kia? There's two goblins. Um, if I run, will they get an attack of opportunity? Oh, hell yeah. You flee, <laughs> they're going to butcher you. Don't right. you flee me, woman. Can I jump behind Raysa and then do him and then cast a spell? Um... Probably. She's right next to me, isn't she? I mean, you could, yeah. I mean, you can you can sidestep and cast a spell if you want. I'm going to. I just so they, because <laughs> right now I'm really believing in Raysa. Okay, I'm gonna sidestep and uh, magic missile. Okay, you blast your magic missile spell. Now, bear in mind you are using a lot of magic in this encounter, so keep up with it. I am. D4 plus one. Magic missile, don't fail me now. Or, okay, you blast the goblin, and the huge ball of glowing blue light hits him square in the chest, knocking him backwards. He lets out a, a ah, as like blue lightning flies all across his body. Um, okay. He is alive, but he is seriously injured. Okay. Um, he looks kind of charred and burned a little bit by the forces of your magic. <laughs> okay. Face Roasted up. goblin. What do you all right. do? So there's one in front of us. Yep. Well, there's technically there's two, but one of them is yes. Just, one of them has been pushed backwards by the blast of magic missile. So is the other one within like stabbing distance? Oh yeah, he's toe to toe. Okay. You guys are touching toes. Yep. So and you've got your short sword in your hand. So if you was to change to try to switch yeah. to your bow, you'd lose the attack anyway. So it's it's pretty much stab or be stabbed at this point. Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. Stab or be okay, stabbed. Well, you gotta we'll, heal me, we will, man. Yes. We will stab. Maybe. With a four, which is a fail. Okay, yeah, oh. you, you lunge. I wish I had some comedy music. like <laughs> Benny Hill music. Yeah, because this fight yeah. is kind of like almost comical. <laughs> with with the missing. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, goblins. The one goblin that is standing next to Racer, he lunges forward. Bumble! Okay, he, as he stumbles and lunges towards you with his sword to attempt to impale you, he trips on a small rock and stumbles <laughs> past you by three feet. The goblin three that has feet. been blasted with the magic missile, um, he doesn't seem to want ha he doesn't seem to want to have anything of this encounter anymore, and he is running back into the cave. Um, so he is like, yeah, screw this. This is not worth it. Um, you can hear strange chanting from inside the cave. Um, and Sorry, what was that again? <laughs> uh, you could have understood that if you'd have had comprehend languages. You don't. So I, I would translate, but you know. Um, okay. But nothing happens other than that. 
It's like no visible effect of the spell happens. Okay, so... Still that um, caster inside that... Radovan! shows up. Radovan! Hey guys, how are you doing? I, 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 just, what? Just making sure no goblins were coming up from here and... <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the pass is clear if you want to go back to your boyfriend, the mountain man, you know. Right, that's it. Okay, Looks so, like. um... When you get there, Radovan, Kia and Liana has got blood dripping down her leg. Yeah, she looks seriously injured. I'm wounded too, you know, and I'm mad at her, so... No, no, um, so there, there's... <laughs> there's a goblin on the floor, right? Look He's hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, so the goblins are all pretty much... All the goblins out here are dead. Okay, so my first instinct is to cure uh, the nearly dying Kia. Cure, right, cure, so cure me. Cure light wounds? It's a disease. No, D8 plus two, sorry. D8 plus two, because you're second level. Five, which is go. enough to heal you fully. Feel back to full. better, elf. <laughs> yeah. Then Cuthbert's Thank hand, you. bathe your leg in a <clears throat> glow of light, healing light, and oh, suddenly man. the pain is gone. That was so close. <sighs> Like I need spa. more hit points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, you're you're fully healed. Um, Thank you. Right. Um, while they're doing that, um, Racer, do you wish to do anything? Because you know there's more goblins in there. Be more goblins in them near caves. Yeah, I want to shoot the the sorcerer in the head. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. What? <laughs> Here's what happens. Um, make a willpower check. Please. Okay, so how do we do that? Because that's a new one for me. Okay, willpower. So if you look at your saving throws, you'll have mm -hmm. willpower save, which I think yep. for you is um, it's not a particularly minus, good one. Minus, minus one. one, yeah. So D20 minus one. Let's see what you get. Eleven. Okay, as you pull your bow back with the intention to shoot him, you just can't do it. There's like something in you that says, I don't want to shoot this guy. And it just you can't <laughs> let the arrow go. It's like as you is that a, arrow, is he charming me? No, no. He, ha he, he is under the effect of a spell. And Radovan could probably guess what it is. Because I get plus two versus charm, so. Uh, yeah, no, it's not a charm. Checking. No, he's not charming you. He basically has cast a spell on himself, which, for the moment, you yeah. can't, you can't choose to attack him. He nope. just don't want to. Interesting. I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> yeah. You can do it, too. Um, okay, so um, that's what happens there. Okay. So, Kia, you get healed... Radovan, you doth do the healing, and Vesa, <laughs> you point your arrow at the little goblin dude, um, and he, after that, he runs further into the cave. Okay, so now you guys are all standing outside of the cave, and you know that there are goblins still on the inside. One of them is yelling and screaming at you in a language, of course, that you can't understand. <laughs> Which roughly translated means, I'm hungry. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but he is he is very vocal and yelling and cussing and screaming and all kinds of goblin. Radovan. What? What is he saying? I don't know. Don't I just got out? here. I've been I've been running this whole time. Why don't you find <laughs> out? Because I already <laughs> used the spell. Ah. Uh. If you Maybe hadn't slit the once. other goblins' throats, you know, maybe I didn't we slit anybody's throat. <laughs> well, I'm talking to the stalwart <laughs> statue over here, who can't even let loose her freaking arrow. Well, hey, you know, is everyone she okay? She was going to, but something yeah. on Brian just told her no. <laughs> yeah, is I'll everyone okay? Yes, and I uh, thank you. I bow a little bit to Redvan. Okay. I owe you my life. Well. Just wait, we're not done out of this yet. We're not done yet. I know. What do, do I we have, do, guys? <laughs> do I have full control of my thoughts at this point? Or, or did, uh, yeah, or... No, you have full control of your thoughts. Okay, so it was just a, that one particular incident. You just incident. can't shoot at him right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. It was, it was just like some kind of, um, you know, he cast a spell on himself to make it to where anybody choosing to attack him would have to have a very strong will to do so. <laughs> Okay. Which in this particular instance, you didn't have it. Okay. Right. So you're kind of sort of all healed up. Um, it's actually you're still pretty, you're still injured. Um, yeah, I mean, like I'm at what 13 health. Yeah. I mean, but you're not no, terribly like injured, but you are. You know, your ribs hurt a little bit. Um, I'm gonna cast Entropic Shield on myself, mm -hmm. knowing that there was an archer in there just shooting arrows at us. Yes. Okay. 
Good call. So I do that. That's what I do. <coughs> so you cast Entropic Shield. Um, you're you're back to normal size, of course. Right so, now. guys, yep. what is our game plan? <laughs> well, the good news <laughs> is you're goblins. now outside again, and most of the goblins that were in the cave are dead. But you do know most that of there's them are a dead. couple more goblins in there. There was one as an archer in there, and there is the finger whittle, the, the guy with the finger wiggling. Okay. Little goblin shaman. So we should kill these guys and then Steve. explore the cave. His name is Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve the I cannot go. do any more magic misleading or anything. Or grease. Are you out of spells completely? Just level one, I can do level zero okay, spells. Okay, so, right, so you're down to cantrips, basically. Well, what, hey, what are your level... What can you do here? I can do ghost sound, message, detect magic, telekinesis... Well, touch of fate. I could do around. touch of fatigue as well. Uh, well, we know there's a spellcaster in there, right? So mm -hmm. should probably detect magic. No, so we know what the hell he's doing. Um, well, detect magic is yeah. It, no, it's... it just tells you. Oh, that's that's, that's for like passive stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so can I can tell you, Radovan, this caster is magical. <laughs> okay. It's the power hey. of Saint <laughs> my Thank you, Logic. Powers. Well, look, we're I in a pit. I detect that the magic user does contain <laughs> magical ability. <laughs> Raysa, what do you want to do? It's down to you guys. We're, we're clearly on different wavelengths about what to do, so... You guys left me to die in there. <laughs> oh, <what> Basically. <laughs> thankfully, I got fear yeah. to save my life. But... You can noticeably see me biting my tongue at this point. Um, <laughs> and I'm just going to say, we just need to find this fucking plant. And the greatest chance of us finding this fucking plant is inside, right? Which is why we went in to begin with. It grows outside, not inside. I still don't understand your logic. All right, so what do you want to do? Wait? They clearly know we're out here, so maybe they won't pr make their procession, procession. So we kill them, we leave an evidence an, an evidence that we're here and we're doing stuff. I don't know. You're, the other the goblin is still screaming uh, screaming at you at the time. Well, if, we, if we killed these goblins, we might as well just kill the rest because... They might go tell some uh, more uh, groups of goblins. I don't know. Well, they, I mean, they're clearly already doing that, so... Let's just go kill these things. Let's just, just rush in there. there well, Lisa seems to think we should be outside. Looking I at really the... don't want to go back in that cave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. What to do, what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charm Raysa. <laughs> oh! Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I would totally support that decision. What does Detect Magic say about these droids? Are they the ones you're looking for? Uh, <laughs> these are not the droids we're looking for. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Um, um, right of in. Just go. Just go in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so cool. Yeah, we got your back, no worries. <laughs> no, oh, again. You. Yeah, we have your back Wait. this time. <laughs> No, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't want to go back in the cave. I don't. But I understand that we need to kill those guys. We need to find this thing, and we need Can to we find somewhere where it is. Right. Let's lure them out. Okay. I mean, yeah, let's... Let's, Bait, let's like lure wave them rooms? out. Bait them out. Some good-smelling hams. Okay, so what's your game plan? You're going to try to bait them out, what Uh, goblin, goblin, goblin. <laughs> <laughs> we have goblin nips. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, ooh, can I, um... I don't know what, but can I, uh, telekinesis something? So, something to float in there and, like, move around and then float towards us? So they, like, they're like, what is that? And, like, follow it out? Possibly. Wait. I got what? it. What? What you learn? Use your sound spell to emulate goblins. We'll I can't stay... do goblin. What, I you can't... can just do ghosts? 
No, I can't like speak in goblin with my ghost sound. Yeah, she doesn't know how to speak goblin, so she can make. It's hard for her to make like Im to imitate goblin voices because she can't speak the language. Oh, I'm out of ideas. I say. What if drink. we take? What if we take Race's uh, jewel, blue jewel, and uh, float it in, move it around, and then float it back out? <laughs> Maybe they'll follow it. <laughs> they might want right? to steal it, right? I if they see it, because it's a very small <laughs> floating. Can we can we illuminate it somehow? Uh, red I can. Red event. I actually. can illuminate it. That's yes, not illuminate a terrible that idea. stone and let's send it in there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my um, zero level cleric spell light on this. Well, once Raisa shows the stone. Okay, what she's doing? She's waving, <laughs> looking at. Okay, because okay, so you know you're... she might not want to, so I cast light on it, so it lights up. Okay, so the the blue the blue gem suddenly begins to. Like, and radiate a huge big aura of light coming from it. Alright. So it is awesome. now extremely visible. Yes, I am going to concentrate on this. You guys be ready to attack if anybody comes out. Alright. Okay. So, so I'm going to move the stone in there. You tele use both. telekinesis to float the stone down into the, into the, into the tunnel. Okay. Um, yes. Now, are you standing at the entrance of the tunnel to watch it? Because you've got to concentrate on it, obviously. So. Yes, yes. Right. I stand off to the side. And like, what about Racer? I am back a bit off to the side with the arrow draw. Like okay, bow so for anybody looking out of the cave, realistically, is only going to see Kia then? Yes. Uh-oh. Right? Okay. All right. Well, you float your glowstone down the tunnel. <laughs> um... It very quickly gains the attention of a couple of the goblins which were hiding at the side as they suddenly start looking, kind of like moving closer to it. Like, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> oh. And are you, are you leaving it in there or are you like, you're attracted? No, it, right? you're as soon as it attracts a couple goblins, I'm going to okay, bring see. the stone out. Okay. One of the goblins starts to follow it. The other one says something to him like, I don't know. Um, but he seems oblivious as he as he seems almost mesmerized by the glowing stone as he chases it out the corridor. He's like eh, 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 trying to grab it. Um, he he literally does. He attempts to grab the glowstone, but he doesn't succeed. Okay, um, you guys. Uh, first of all, um, Raysa, you can see the goblins. Just the goblin kind of following the glowstone, snatching at it, trying to grab it out of thin air as it's moving just a little quicker than he can. So you have a clear shot if you want to shoot him. Absolutely, I do. Alrighty, D20 Is plus... Is he point black? Um, at this point, he will be, yeah, by the time he gets to the entrance. So, yeah, D20 plus five. What the? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is rigged. Rigged! Wow. Okay, the arrow this. flies past him, um, distracting him, um, or getting his attention. He's like... Ah! And now he suddenly doesn't think that following the stone is a particularly good thing. Dang it. <laughs> Radovan, you can from your position, if you wish, charge in and smack him one. Oh, I'm doing it. Doing oh. it. Uh, yep. 20 plus three. I, three. It's three. Yes! <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, Natural Wee! 20! Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Amazing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's playing the sounds. I, I did, yeah. yeah. Potential crit. Um, roll to see if you hit him again. If you do, it's a critical hit. Well, I... Okay. <laughs> oh, it does! It's a crit, it's... ladies and gentlemen. We have a crit. Fuck okay, with so Rata, it's D8 plus 2 damage times 2. D8 plus 2, and we'll double it. <laughs> so your three, right. Hey, your 3 still goes to a 6. As the goblin suddenly gets distracted and looks up as the arrow flies past him, he looks straight into the face of the swinging morning star of justice as it smashes his face to oblivion and cracks his skull wide open. He falls to the floor to cease. Dead goblin. Charge! <laughs> okay, and now you're charging in? I am. Ah, Fuck this. As Redavan brilliantly tries to charge through the five foot corridor into the actually you're not huge now so you can yeah um, but it's still a little in he tight goes. okay girls are you yeah. backing him up or are you going to wait back here and see what happens I'm uh, backing him up I, are so... you going to race up <laughs> um... he charges in behind him 
<laughs> you know what? No, I'm gonna stay uh, out because I am good at the backstab. So if anybody comes out, I can shank a bitch. Okay, so you're staying. You're staying in an attack of opportunity position. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think so. Okay, Radovan, as you charge back into the cave, there's one goblin standing here, looking like he's attempting to stop you. The one behind the fireplace looses an arrow, and he hits you. The arrow oh, hits you in shield? the upper shoulder. Or, uh, oh, actually, with Entropic Shield. Let me double check. Because huh. Entropic Shield... No, I forgot. You have Entropic Shield. It actually misses you by one with Entropic Sweet. Shield. Really? There you go. So the arrow kind of almost it hits the glowing... He's got like a force field around him. The arrow hits the force field and ricochets up, hitting the ceiling. And you kind of get the, the impression, if you can understand the goblin, the look on his face is very much like... A what the fuck kind of look. Um, <laughs> so, um, you guys couldn't see that. Okay, the goblin that is in the way, um, he is going to attempt to block your path and stop you from getting through. The, the little um, oh, no, magey no, guy little goblin. is running back up the tunnel way, away from you. doesn't want any of you guys right now. Okay, so, goblin in front of you. Um, so, Kia, you get to act first. What do you want to do? Jump around right Radovan and hit him with my uh, quarterstaff. Okay, yeah. so you're going to kind of come up here and try to belt the guy with your quarterstaff. Well, Go ahead. Yeah, I knew I liked one. Kia more than I liked Raysa. This oh, what? Well, I don't help you the, anyway. You swing wildly at the goblin, but you <laughs> do manage to hit him with your quarterstaff. Radovan Rainier. I turn. strike this I strike this motherfucker. Smite him with the power of Saint Cuthbert. Smite me, almighty oh, smite right. Um, You don't really smite him so much as, you know, just... <laughs> Intimidate him slightly with the swing. Hey, of your, your what happened in my turn? Oh, well, you're outside. Yeah, I can do stuff outside, like search for the plant. Oh, you can if you wish. Yeah, okay. Go, by all means. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna, you're gonna look around for the. the wow. Plant. Okay. I got you. That makes sense. This team spirit, though. <laughs> you're see, you know what? Here, Radovan can't see anything unless it's two feet in front of him. Raisa thinks about other things other than what's happening right here. The only reason Radovan can even fight in this cave, to be honest, is because there is a fire in here. So he can. Um, That's true. Yeah, <laughs> Radovan. Uh. Touche. He's blind. Touché. Okay. Um, right. Well, the goblin lunges at Radovan with his short. <laughs> and the goblin. Rolls natural twenty. A natural twenty. Oh my gosh! What? The goblin is trying. The goblin almost critted you. Um, if he would have hit you a second time, it would have been a crit. But he doesn't crit you. Oh, oh my god! He oh does god. do six <laughs> points of damage uh. as he rams the business end of his spear into your into your lower ribs. Oh my ribs! Ah. Ribs. And I was front. running too. Yep, it's like an impale. He's like, he braces himself for impact as you charge onto the tip of his spear. Six points of damage. That hurts. That's yeah. hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Ouch, ouch. Oh, that really hurts. How much okay. life you got left? Uh, I was at 14. He's got a, a, a mean, nasty looking oh, wait, look on no. his face. Like, <laughs> I'm at eight. Uh -oh. All right. Okay. 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 Um, the other goblin seizing his opportunity with his short bow. There's another goblin? Oh. Yeah, there's one behind the fire. Fires the arrow towards Radovan, but it misses. They seem hell-bent on killing Radovan Rainier. Yeah. They don't see you as much of a threat right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, good for me, I guess. Alright, is it Kia's turn? I think it's Kia's turn. What about me? Okay. Help. Look at the stars. So, Ra uh, Raisa <laughs> is outside searching for the plant. Uh, yes. You can go ahead and make a search roll. Thank you. Assuming Hang in there, Red. Fire. Finish him. <laughs> Ooh, almost. Oh, it's Boom. a very good search roll. Nice. Um, as you scrabble around looking for said strange mystical plant, um, you don't find it. However, you do manage to find um, a couple of arrows that flew out of the tunnel earlier. No, um, you do actually manage <laughs> to find um, a couple of plants that are worthwhile because they can be, if you actually, with, um, you know, you found them with herbalism or whatever, but if you actually use a pocket there, you could turn them into like a like a healing bomb. So they would be nice. useful. They would be useful okay. at a later okay. date. I will so. collect said plants. Okie dokie. Write them down. They're healing plants? Um, yep. 
uh, with a successful apothecary, you will be able to turn them into like a healing remedy. So back inside the cave. I shall Ileana. attack again with my mighty quarter staff. Okie dokie. <laughs> Do it, Kia. <laughs> Yay! And you swing valiantly, but miss. Radavan. Radavan, you're gonna hate me. <laughs> Radavan Renier, did you? Uh, I accidentally hit Radavan. <laughs> Radavan oh my god. And you swing and miss. Okay, the goblin now sated for blood lunges forward yet again um, with his uh, with his spear. I'm gonna die by um, call. And you just managed to get your shield at the right angle to deflect the blow at the last second. Yes. Oh my god. The goblin with the short bow this time <laughs> loses an arrow again. However, this time he doesn't miss, even with the intricate shield, and hits yeah. you for one, oh only one point of damage. Yay! Right it's a glancing blow. Uh, it'll bruise. Yes, it'll tis, bruise. tis but a scratch. So I'm at seven health right now. You're down to yeah. You're getting he, they're they're whittling you down. The priest of Saint Cuthbert is going down. Well, only no, Reza was here to shoot with her. My, my thoughts exactly, Miss Health. <laughs> right. Right. Well, actually, Racer, <laughs> you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so Racer would be at minus four to hit this guy anyway. Oh, uh, okay. We're still. still yep. Okay. Um, so... To see, I do make good decisions. <laughs> Racer's outside still picking flowers. Um, do you wish to do anything? Um, so you, you, you kind of, like, searched around the air, immediate area and stuff like that, and you pick these up. Um, what do you want to do next? Do I hear any voices of other people who may be out collecting this plant that only has a little window left that they're probably no. out looking for? No. No. Hmm. no. It's not the sort of thing that average people are going to be looking for. Yes, but goblins worship this plant and they they live in these mountains. And, yeah. Well, you see, there's this thing where these goblins, if they were to want to come out of the cave, they're kind of inhibited from doing so right now. Yeah, yeah. There's there's these bad guys out there that are yeah, killing the friends. Yeah, I think we totally screwed this guy. Butchering the goblins that. if they can. Good one, Radovan. <laughs> So, um, You're the one who slit the goblin's throat. Oh my god. Yeah. You're the one who ran in <laughs> to the, the argument tape. we're going to have children, children, when we're done with down. this is going to be epic. I just got to say. All right. Yes. Okay, so, Kia. Uh, um, this little, this one little goblin is holding see. the two of you off. I know, so right? Okay, can I run up and run up and hit him again? Oh, yeah. Not again. Do it. Yes, Kia. Come on. I believe it. Skull. Love of Cuthbert. What the? Oh, wow. <laughs> Why? Okay, you swing and miss. Radovan, can you do Radovan, better? Radovan, heal yourself. <sighs> Are you serious? Uh, nope, you missed as well. This guy's got a shield, remember? <laughs> okay, you both lunge forward. The goblin somehow ducking and diving his way through the, the onslaught of blows lunges forward <laughs> once again and uh, literally, for the second time, only the split second saves Radovan from getting <laughs> skewered by the Goblin Spearman. You're going to have to do a Monster Mayhem on this Goblin. Monster it's like a super mayhem. Goblin. Okay, the other <laughs> Goblin fires his arrow, but he misses. Yay! Help us, Reza! <laughs> Are you going to yell that? Are you yelling that? No. Are you yelling for help? Okay. No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> then she can't hear you. Whose turn is it? Um, I don't get it turns, is apparently. back it's a to Risa. <gasps> Yay, I get a turn! <laughs> I, um, I... Okay, so I can't find anybody, so I guess I'll make my way back. Okay. <laughs> so you, when you get back to the, you, you basically you get back to the cave. The nerdy hero, thank you for the follow. Uh, once you get back to the cave, um, you can kind of glance in. You can see the back of Radovan, Rainier, and Kieliana, um basically locked in mortal combat. It would seem with a lone <laughs> goblin. <laughs> This one goblin, yeah. like all the other goblins combined, have not held, uh, was unable to fight you guys off as well as this one little dude. I see a sitcom in the making with this. I can't. <laughs> I probably can't hit the goblin because they're both in the way, right? Uh, you no, not not with a ranged attack. No, there's, there's a wall of there's a wall of Kia and um, a wall of Radovan in the way. 
Can I get in there in time for an attack or no? Um, this turn? No. Um, you can get down there, but you wouldn't be able to attack this turn. <laughs> okay. But I got is nothing. That, but, is that what you want to do? Get down there? Just get, just get down there. You can help sure. us. Sure. Later. Sure. Yeah, I guess. I got nothing. Alright, okay. So you're basically going to just charge down and get in a position to try to back these guys up. Mm hmm. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kia, what are you doing? As my next. What is this? My fourth attempt to yeah. try to yeah. hit this? <laughs> fourth attempt to quarter staff. It's oh, like going up one every time. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, you miss yet again, Radovan. Well, it is your turn. Son of a shame. Come on, it's one goblin. <laughs> 23! Yay! And look at that roll, ladies and gentlemen. Natural 20! And that's all 20. Let's see if we can get a crit out of this one. Roll I'm gonna... Game. I'm gonna... Yeah. Burn the moment You're gonna crit all over that shit. Oh, never no. mind. And Straight and ahead. And a fumble. But that's okay. Cause <laughs> cause <laughs> but so it's still matter. just a hit. So one... So one, hit. one D8 plus two damage. For five. Okay, this time the goblin doesn't look so smug as the swinging, uh, swinging morning star, the cudgel of St. Cuthbert, smacks him straight under the chin, knocking him flying backwards, landing in the fire. He rolls Ooh, around yes. screaming as he catches <laughs> on flames. <laughs> and what? And what? And he <laughs> dies. A hideous oh, death. by fire. Jesus. Um, okay. In doing so, the goblin that was shooting at behind the fire, he actually has to leap back to avoid getting caught um, by the flaying friend of his. Um, mm -hmm. So he doesn't actually make his attack this turn. He uses his turn to get his ass out the way. Seeing you all now charging in, he, t he makes a turn and is trying his best to run. Um, you guys, what do you want to do? So... Um, isn't Racer. that an attack of opportunity? Only if you have a ranged attack. Uh, there's no, there's no attack Racer. of opportunity because he's here. <laughs> Racer. Um, but Racer can shoot him as he flees. Yes, please. Okie dokie. Step up and shoot with your short bow. Not point, point blank, blank or no? No. It's not no? Point blank. Uh, oh my god. The arrow flies but misses. Okay, Kia. What do you wish to do? How many? This thing's here? rigged, man. Yeah, you get, Rigged! You, yeah. This is what you get for having all those 20s last week, you see. It's paying you back. Hey, I, I can look do. for a flower with a 23, but I can't fucking shoot a bow. <laughs> <laughs> You're a professional flower picker. <laughs> I'm gonna just move here, but not do anything. Okay, so you're just moving over there. Okay, yeah. I'm, right I am healing myself. Okay, D8 plus 2, or are you just doing a cantrip? No, no, D8 plus 2. Oh, I'm sacrificing you. my create water spell okay. to do that. Proper heal. Woo. A ten, look at him look. Yay! The holy bathing of St. Cuthbert as the healing light shines upon your wound. <laughs> I think that pretty much heals you to full, doesn't it? Seven, I was at seven, so yeah. Sure, you're all Yay. the way back up. Mega, oh. mega healing. Congrats. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to find a sound for that. I really am. Mega healing potion. Better. There you go. Alright, so um, Ranavan is fully healed. Kieliana has also been fully healed. But you guys are seriously depleted on the magical scale. Yes. Um, yes. So, what do you want to do now? My turn? Or whose turn is um, it? Yep, it is. If you guys. We're going to use our sheer strength. Right now, you, you can. This guy, as I said, he is, he's legged it. He's down the, down the corridor. So, what do you guys. Why don't we um, uh, check out some other passageways before we go attack those two? Mm. Or should we just go ahead and attack those two? Well, we know they're cornered. They can't go anywhere. We don't even know what's down there. Like, what you if do. there's another exit? I just got a glimpse. I didn't see much. I mean, yeah. I mean it's clear. All right. All right. Oh, I'm going to say, Radovan, what should we do? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm just going to look to Kia and say, which way do you want to go? I'm going to ignore Risa completely. <laughs> Now you guys need to learn to get along. It's, oh, it's not, tough. It not is tough. Put him in the corner. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna. So, yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. I'm gonna point my head left over to where there's the leftmost tunnel. 
And I'm gonna start walking that way. Okay, move move yourself into the. Okay, so you're gonna go down. You're gonna check this tunnel. Yes. I'm gonna follow qu as quietly as is humanly possible. <laughs> without so for saying you, a word. not very quietly. <laughs> no. Pretty much right. Okay. Right. Well, inside the tunnel, um, once you get down there, um, there are three kind of piles of rags that are literally nothing more than makeshift beds. It looked like this was like where three of the goblins bedded down for a quiet nap. Um, can I ruffle there? through the sheets, maybe? Yeah, um, pretty much could try no. to find some kind of map or something. No. No, so um, there's nothing there. Nothing here, no. Nothing Nothing of any worth. Or... Uh, Raysa, right. what about you? What do you want to do while they're, while they're investigating that tunnel? Um... I'm not going down that tunnel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. Okay. Get in a defensive position. Maybe like, is there a shadow right here that I can hide in? Uh, well, I mean, there's that little alcove right behind you. you okay, I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna hang here. Yeah, I'm hanging there. Okay. All right. So you, you secure yourself and hide. Um, right. You two come out of this tunnel. Where do you want to go next? Let's go to the next tunnel. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm hoping Radavan gets in front of me for this one, yeah? Well, the first thing that you notice, um, this tunnel is very narrow. It's barely two feet wide. In fact, Radavan has to go oh, sideways wow. to get through it. Uh, <laughs> and he barely can now. Um, and uh, it is covered in very thick, gooey, and sticky cobwebs. Yeah, uh, nope. Leading you to believe that the goblins themselves have not been down this tunnel in a while. I <laughs> say to Kia, no go. Let's try the next. Okay, and I'm not going to argue. If we don't find anything else, I'll go through it, but I'll skip it for now. Alrighty, so you check out the next corridor. Um, leads into a room very similar to the first one you went in. Three nasty makeshift piles of rags that have nothing more than beds. Um, and that's all. Crap. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, you ready to <laughs> kill some stuff? <laughs> It, it, it's coming down to that room, isn't it? That last one where you know the goblins went. Okay, uh, I say to Kia, um, well, actually, is my Entropic Shield still up or no? Uh, what was the duration on Entropic Shield, does it say? No, it, it didn't say. It just... Well, it does Maybe say. Maybe there's cobwebs <laughs> in that spot because they only go No, it just says it has a 20% chance to miss. So that's... Uh, yeah. If, if they hit, they have to make that. I double check. I I don't know how long. That's it. Not a very commonly used spell. Hold on, my camera died. Make it not die. Darn yeah, it. You bad. <laughs> Entropic shield. Um. It's yes, it is. Um. It's still active currently, but it's about to go down. Well, um. One, it's one minute. I wasn't sure if it was rounds or minutes, but it's one hmm. minute. So basically, like twelve rounds. Okay, so one minute per. Kia, we it, the best chance of us winning is to charge right now, at this moment. Yeah. Are you with me? Is there a reason for me to charge? Well, you'll <laughs> okay, be behind okay, me. Okay, whatever. I'll charge behind you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not I'm a very good to go. strong person. Just letting you know. We we got to show. Nope, I'm her. gonna whatever. come over here. Okay, okay, so you're gonna. I know. Okay, so you're you're getting yourself in a position so that you can see down the tunnel with that. Button. Yeah, so I can cover gotcha. their backs. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Alrighty. We got to prove that there's only one spellcaster in, our, in this in this tunnel in this cave, and it's you, Kia. I believe Aww. in you. <laughs> it's a wizard war. <laughs> We're gonna do right. this, right? All right, let's go. I, okay. So we charge. I charge. All right. So you two charge headlong down the tunnel. Okay. Um, as you charge down the tunnel, um, as soon as you get to the end uh, to the entrance, um, you are greeted by a arrow flying straight at you. Yay! The shield avoids it. Okay, it hits you. Whoops. For it's two like... points of damage, Radavan. All right. As you come, literally charging through the goblins, waiting for you, and he's like. Oh! The other, the other goblin behind him is yelling some kind of profanity and screaming. Wait, how many goblins are there? Bloody murder! There's two, two in there. Okay. Um. 
So that's basically, it, um, with that he, he kind of steps up, knowing that he has nowhere else to go. Um, he's kind of stepping up and he's holding his, his, his quarter staff ready to fend you off as well. He's got like a little skull attached to the end of it. Some kind of rat skull. Sounds cool. You know, it'll be it'll be your prize, Kia. So cool. Okay, so you guys move up. Um, this corridor is pretty narrow, so there's only room for Radavan to fight right now. Kia can't okay. really do much behind him. Okay, mm. um, Radavan. It is I'm gonna short. hit. What do you want to hit? I'm gonna hit Try the Wiggler. Hit. The Wiggler. Okay, you swing at the Goblin Shaman. D20 plus two. Two. Thought it was three. Uh, no, yes, three for you. Sorry. Right. You hit him! Yay! D8 plus 2 for damage. Whew. Yay. Okay, you smack the Goblin Shaman with your with your Morning Star. He lets out a, a loud yell as his face kind of died like... Um, he stumbles backwards. He's still alive, um, but it's he's definitely spitting blood. No. Are you going to move out of the way, Red? I'm moving out. I'm moving up as much as I can. But the other goblin, knowing that there's nowhere else for him to run, has dropped his short bow, pulled out his short sword, and lunges forward with it. Um, and he hits you. Oh no! All right. Four. Oh no! He slashes wildly as the blade of the jagged edge of his short sword slashes right across your upper thigh, leaving a big nasty gash. Oof. And it's rusty, so you probably have tetanus now, too. Alright. <laughs> so, um, Better go to the doctors. Um, do, do you have removed tetanus? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I'll check my skills, do I? <laughs> Maybe Race I do. Is probably, Race has probably got the herbs for that. Swim, survival, I might, survival, I might okay, not. So, um, All right. so, yeah, here you are. There's nowhere for them to go. They're not going to back away. They're not going to flee. There's no point. They're going to try to fight to the death. Alright. Am I going to turn? Yes, you do. Okay, I'm so gonna notice the little corridor beside me. Right, the one that's covered in thick, gooey cobwebs. Yes. Oh no. And I am. Can I fit through there? You can. I mean, it's very tight. It's only about two foot wide. Yeah, maybe the flowers there, because they only go there once a year. Yeah. You know? So I wanna, I wanna go down. Okay. You're looking How far do I get? to hack your way. Right, that's about far enough. You're okay. hacking your way through the cobwebs. Um, the cobwebs are pretty thick, not like regular spider webs. I mean, they're the, to the point where they actually have some resistance in them when you're hacking through them. Whatever made these cobwebs <laughs> oh, wow. isn't some little teeny tiny scepter. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, meanwhile, back in the goblin cave. Um, okay, me, me. here. I'm gonna try to try to hit the shaman. You can get close enough now to where you now there's more room. You can you're yeah. up there shoulder to shoulder with Radavan, poking away with your stick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Swing trying away. To hit the D6 shaman. six plus one. Oh, Ladies my and gentlemen, 20. it had to have natural twenty. Woohoo! Thank you. Roll again. Thanks, See if you can Kia crit. Kia crit. Kia crit. Kia crit. No. No. <laughs> That's okay. D6 damage. Smack that shaman upside the head Ew. for two. There you go. <laughs> it's not worth it. My All right, crit, you, belt, uh, you belt the shaman for an additional two sad. points of damage. Um, okay. Knocking one of his tooth loose as he looks at you with a <laughs> gnarly tooth grin. <laughs> okay, Radavan, your turn. I'm attacking the short bow dagger dude. The short sword the dagger dude. short sword out now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Boom. Ooh, good hit. Okay, nice. so yep, you hit him. D8 plus 2. Nice. For 8, with nowhere to run, Radavan brings the edge of his morning star straight down on the top of this goblin's cranium. Crack! As it literally just collapses and um, slumps straight to the floor. He has ceased to be. That was the shaman? No, that was the goblin that had no, the short goblin. sword. That was the only real threat to us. The now. other goblin, the goblin shaman, is now backing up away from you, like just edging back. And he's like dropped the weapon on the floor, and he's holding his hands up, and he's. <gasps> Ooh, he surrenders. Don't kill him. I don't, don't plan to. Magic user. <laughs> yes, yes, All right. yes, yes. Um, so, Racer, um, after witnessing the thickness of the webbing. 
Do you wish to continue, or you looks like you're coming out? Yeah, I'm going to change your. We had a change of heart, did we? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Are you coming back out? Um, Alrighty. Um, so you can get to... Are you heading to them? I... Uh, or you want to stay put? Oh. Oh, you can hear lots of yelling she... and hollering in there, so... She's I'm going to stay at the, at the ready. You know, I've got my bow up. I'm... I'm From in my are, In my justification, I'm going to protect just them. just about have a field... Yeah, you just about have a line of sight. Yeah, to so... Okay. I'm ready to... to if they, come fleeing, if, they if they come yeah. fleeing out, you're going to have the back covered. I got you. There we go. All right. Um, so, you two that are up there with the goblin shaman who is now on his knees begging for mercy, begging for his life. All right. Restrain him, basically. Approach him, yeah. I think yeah. Radovan should restrain him. I'll take away his quarterstaff. Take away the okay. quarterstaff. Uh, we search his pockets. Um, we search around the room, too, to see what's there. Okay, searching his pockets, um, you find notes on what? There we go. Okay, um, so he has on his on his person. <laughs> um, okay. Um, he has got 11 silver pieces, okay. 23 copper pieces. He has got a necklace that is covered in rat... It's basically made up of rat teeth and rat skulls and all kinds of nasty little thingies. Like Ooh. little trophies that he's managed to collect. Um, and that's about all he has on him. However... In the corner of the room is a big, solid, bound chest. <gasps> okay. Oh, yeah. So, Radovan throws the neck. No, I do not call out Teresa. No? <laughs> I throw the rat necklace thing to you, Kia, thinking, well, it's magical in nature. It has no interest to me. I, I, I also uh, share, the, share the silver and copper given you half and me half and then we um i say to you check out the check out what's in the drawer the locker i'll i'll keep an eye on him that's what i do what Radovan does right okay okie dokie so you do that um all the yelling and screaming has stopped um and what do you want to do after that? He is—he is not offering any resistance at all. He's not trying to struggle. He's doing—he's complying with your every wish. Um, I'm gonna point at him and then point to the chest, like open it. Okay. He—he he like looks at you almost like timidly and like walks over to it or crawls over to it on his hands and knees, um, and lifts the lid and throws it open. Peer inside. Alrighty. Um, looking inside, the first thing you notice is a what looks like a very roughly and unpleasantly carved statue of a spider. Ooh. The only thing that really lets you know that it is a spider is there's eight legs to it. But it's really, it's real kind of rough and rugged. It, it, well, obviously no great craftsman, um, okay. you know, carved this. The thing is about a foot, it's about a foot top, uh, a foot in width, so it's about this big. Um, you know, it's fairly heavy. It weighs, it weighs a few pounds in weight. Um, also in there is a whoppy great quantity of cash. Uh, most of it is silver, um, which means it's probably a lot heavier. The weight is there. The value is a lot of silver, so it's definitely worth some gold. But, I mean, this thing probably weighs about 200 pounds. So this is not a pick it up and carry it around type deal. This is a grab a handle each and hoof it out the cave entrance if that's what you want to do with it. Yeah. I mean, maybe Ray says you don't want to do that, but I don't care for it. <laughs> it's a lot it's just going to be a, a wait, and we had to climb, up, climb a rope to get up here, right? So that's not going to be easy. Night Stalker. Thank you for the Can fight. I hear... The jingling of said <laughs> coins. Probably not, unless they're actually trying to take it out of the chest, which they haven't. So, no. They're just okay. looking at it. Kia, what do you want to do with this guy? 
We gotta get him to talk. How? Maybe the drawings will work on him. It didn't work, but this guy seems to be the leader. He probably has much more of an understanding. So you want to take, right, him, well, I'm gonna, take him back to the pit? Yeah, Fire pit? let's drag him out. All right. Okay. All right. Don't, oh, don't mention the loot. Don't mention the chest. Can I hear them talking? Okay. Um, you you know what? You can make a listening roll because you are an elf and you have exceptional hearing. So you might hear that. Radovan Rainier. <laughs> they didn't specify <laughs> whispering, so... Uh-oh. Um, yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's very funny. makes sense. But your ears prick up. You do hear... Don't mention the chest. You're like, oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of one of those things. As soon as you are obsessed with things like that, it would make sense that it would suddenly alert your attention. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Um, so what do you guys want to do with the goblin? Mm. We drag him to Racer. Basically. All right. We escort him to Racer. So you drag him, basically, under threat of death. Out into the open, so you you got you basically you see them kind of frog march this guy out of here, um, and he literally he's crawling the entire way. He's on his hands and knees. <laughs> <laughs> he's in total grovel mode. Okay. Don't kill us! Don't kill us! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so you have a groveling goblin at your feet. What do you want to do? Are we gonna try stone pictures again? But might as well try, try that first. Actually, well, you know what? There's there's a campfire right there, so I'm gonna grab a stick that's like charcoaly, <laughs> right? And draw yeah. better. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you can you can definitely draw with a charcoal stick on the ground way better than you can carve into the rock. So I will attempt to draw my beautiful plant with the six fingers. Okay. And then the moon phases and kind of point out, so like outside and up. Okay. Um, and then okay. probably with the assistance of my herb again, like everybody, plant, plant, everybody plant. that's paying attention to the goblin, make a sense motive check. But Anzo, thanks for the follow, buddy. Okay. All right. That's been, sense I, motive. I check. haven't done nineteen. Okay. That's nice. Lisa. Yeah, Thirteen. 13. Of course. And Radovan gets 15. Okay. So, um, nice. To Radovan and Racer, it's very, like, as soon as you start drawing the moon and the little plant and all that, the look on his face is very aware to you that he gets it. It's like, <gasps> oh. Um, it's like, you know, the facial expression. When you've tried this with the other goblins, they look clueless. This guy was like, oh. and then immediately stopped, like, tried to hide the fact that he paid attention to it. Um, and then he looks up and he says, Crap, I can't understand him anymore. Which means nothing to you. <laughs> I'm going man. to, I'm going to kind of one hand dagger, one hand grab him and kind of like point you and then towards the entrance and like with my hand on him and like go. And like basically lead us there. Go. Um, so you're, you you literally are pointing him and pushing him out the entrance. Yeah, like you're gonna take us to where this is because I know you know. Okay. Um. You start doing that. Um. Everybody, now make a spot check, please, and you will need a difficulty of twenty. Oh my gosh. I would oh. normally roll this for you, but it's more fun if I let you do it. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let's Ooh, see. No. Ah, Ooh, Racer. natural! Racer, Woo! Racer gets is. a natural 20! <laughs> yes! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, and what about everybody else? No? Nothing good. No, 16. Racer, okay. as you're pushing him out the entrance, you notice he keeps glancing back behind him. And his eyes keep... Falling upon the little tunnel with the cobweb. <gasps> knew it! I knew it! Uh, he continues to march as as you push him, blade first out the door. But his he keeps like glancing back at it. Oh. Turn that sucker around. Uh, but yeah, you are aware of his um 
you know, his eyes keep falling upon that tunnel. Um, is, can I tell if he's using his own magic or if he's just looking for something? Oh, what did I just do to... <laughs> <laughs> he had just got manipulated in a really weird way. Okay, um... <laughs> thank you for the follow, Deadly Angel 25. Um... Thank you. No, it's not a magic thing, it's just his, his eyeballs keep He's just looking there. for something. Okay, so he's not controlling it. No, no, he's not casting anything or doing anything, it's just like... There's something back there that he is interested in. Um, okay, so I'm just going to say, you guys, he keeps looking at that spider entrance. Let's let's talk to it here, and I kind of give him a dagger to the back, make him walk faster. Like, let's go, 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 go. Okay, so go, go, go is in continue to push him out, or yeah, out. Okay, so you push him. Oh, out I the thought doorway. that meant that he was trying to. All right. Get us to not go in to not go in there, because something's in there. Well, I mean, well that's you're not an just, open in. Mm. Yeah, it's a body language. Interpret it how you want to interpret it. Okay, so um, you push him out the cave entrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're now outside with the goblin. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and you also right. notice that there's still a big pile of rope laying on the floor out here. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my rope. Okay. Um. <laughs> And and tie him up. <coughs> okay, so you're gonna tie the go the goblin shaman up. Okay. Around hands him, behind. Hands him behind, like and then kind of like a rope, little like tether that I can lead him with. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you now have a goblin on a leash. Baby. I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lassoed. Entangle, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Okay, so you now have a tied up, um, a tied up goblin on a leash that is now outside and going wherever you tell him to because you have a pointy dagger. In. So I'm going to again point at the moon, point at the the herb that I you know had. He knows where it is because he saw me put the herb in my bag, like herb moon, and make like a hurry up gesture. Okay, he nods back towards the cavern. He's like. Eh. I'm gonna apply more pressure to said dagger. Okay, he he starts to yelp and he drops. He basically falls to the floor and starts rolling around like almost crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go up to him. I'm gonna grab him and I'm gonna take the side of my dagger and I'm oh. gonna give him a little love smack okay, across so the face. Slap him on the side. <laughs> Smart up. You're the fine. Time Let's go. Has, okay. He yelps in fear. Um. And he's still yelling and s he's still like pointing his head back at the cave like The time has come guys. Radavan comes and smacks him in the face with his mace, his morning nice. star. <laughs> You're gonna sm the time has come for retribution for the throat slit that happened earlier in the adventure. What? No! <laughs> so so I'm killing him. Okay. I kill him. Well, you, it's not hard to kill a tied up goblin. So you, you basically smash his skull to oblivion. We're going oh, back in, guys. <laughs> he is dead. Deceased. Grace up. No more. Kia, we have to go where we haven't gone yet. Okay, and that's okay. inside that little Jeez, crevice. Didn't... Oh my gosh. Yeah, what like is your obsession with blood. inside? This plant blooms on he the rocks, was outside, gesturing. under. He was gesturing and you trust inside. Him? You trust him? <laughs> you think he's you... telling us the truth? He's a good goblin. A spider. He was. Look at him. Dude, was... you guys, while you guys were fighting that thing, I went partway down that cavern. Those webs are so thick and sticky, those are not normal webs. Well, then we'll break through them and go to the other side. You first. Happily. You can go do whatever you were doing outside when Kia and I were actually fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you there's want, any want... rocks or things in the near vicinity that I can boot at in Radovan's general direction, I'm gonna right. do that. Okay, so you basically like hurl, hurl crap at him like a, yeah. a physical insult, like shut Yes. Up. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I'm mad, but I'm not gonna. Right. We, I know we need to do something, but I'm still gotcha. pissed off at him. I <laughs> so, back into the cave we go. Over here. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the tension is real between you guys. So, Radavan, you get there, um, 
fucking right Why don't we send in Cal? <laughs> you want to send your kitty cat down there? By all means. Oh, uh, no. My cat's going to die if I have a giant spider. <laughs> no, yeah. I'd rather just go. I'd rather just go. Okay. So who's leading the way? Bearing in mind, it's, it's very tight and narrow, so Radovan has got to kind of slide in there well, sideways. We're going to need some torch or something to burn the rope. I mean, uh... Oh, that's not a problem, because you got a big fire behind you full of sticks. Well, that's, I, I pick one right. up, and I'm like, well, if you got to do it, you got to do it. Okay. So you're going to walk ahead and just burn your way through? Pretty much. Yep. All righty. No problemo. Okay, so you do so. You squeeze your way through. It gets a little wider as you go down. Emrah, thanks for following me. Um, Thank you. Okay, let me move. I'm going to move you to the second part. <laughs> done. Is there... Done. Uh, done. Gorbat? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Is there a little, <laughs> like, alcove where I can go to the bathroom before we... <laughs> the liquor that I had was kind of, you know... As in, like, you, are, you, are you asking, is it time for a break? <laughs> I think it's time for a break. Because it is, actually. It's about time. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to take a quick... I want to detect evil. Thank you, Mill. Sorry. I think. Um, to, torn between chaos and evil. Because we know that they were spider webs. Yes. So spider webs, are they just chaotic or are they evil? <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking myself. I would say chaotic. So I'm gonna do a detect chaos um, cleric spell because I have like nothing else left to do. <laughs> 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 I'm so burned you out. You do know, of course, that that will mean that you won't have a that, that's a, that's one more spell that can't be converted to a healer. Yeah, I know, it. but I, I have. Oh no! Are you sure we can just? I have purified right food there. and water. I I still I still have like three spells to do. So okay, so I'm gonna do it. All right, All you right. detect chaos. Um, okay, well. You actually do detect a strong, Ooh. chaotic presence coming in every direction. Oh my gosh. All of the tunnels ahead of you. Tunnels? Can we just set the place on fire? Yes. Um, <laughs> with, oh, now Radovan's actually got his... Because um, I've got the areas <laughs> hidden from you guys. So now Radovan has got his torchlight in here. Let me open it up for you guys. Oh god, are those eggs? Blue Ellen, <laughs> boy, children. Uh, actually, that's, that's, it's the cocoon. That's the cocoon that's mounted oh. to the wall. There's something, like, wrapped up in there. Uh. Okay, um, guys, would you care to make a spot check? Oh, of sure course. Thing. Yay, you spot might. check. Woohoo, so spotted. <laughs> yeah, you detect Racer, that's right. Actually, you detect <laughs> Kia as well, because they're all chaotic. <laughs> that was so sad. Yes. Okay. Yes. That was a natural 20, girl. Oh, and so Racer's Racer. Oh, natural no, 20! Yeah. Oh, that was the one before. Okay. Yeah, you know sorry. What? Kia got a 19. Okay, Kia. <clears throat> um, very subtly. Um, Kia got a 23. I got a 23, uh, yeah. dang it. a 19. She got a total of 23. Ooh, oh, okay. Um, you oh. are aware that the cobwebs immediately to your right are just moving slightly. And there's no wind in here to cause that. Oh, my gosh. It's like... Something, you know, something is making the move. So breathing of some sort. Maybe. Maybe, or maybe they're so tiny. Okay. Well, I'm going to relay that to the two comrades of mine. Oh, God. Okay. Suddenly, out from the cobwebs, <laughs> the right, <laughs> a large spider... Um, about the size of a Rottweiler, give you an indication. Of course, it's a lot wider because it's got a big, uh, big leg Ooh, span. Yeah. But we're talking about a spider about the size of a large dog comes creeping out of the cobwebs from the hole to the side of you. <laughs> <laughs> and sits like, a, um, sits like a funnel web staring at you, ready to pounce. I'm so dead in this. What do you wish to do? Bear in mind right now, um, only Radovan is able to act because the corridor where you guys are is too narrow. So Radovan's either got to either stay where he is, which means pretty much until he's dead, you girls are fairly safe. Or he can move in there to give you room to act. Uh, 
Oh, red of end, it's down to you, sir. What do you wish Risa to do? Risa wouldn't mind that right now. She'd be okay with that. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. She doesn't like you right now. <laughs> at all. But just, uh, just real quick to clarify for you guys, our players don't watch the actual stream. So the map that they're seeing is a... They only actually get to see the area that I reveal to them. So they can really only see the middle section. Um, they don't see everything else. So you guys get to see everything, but they don't. So um, all they're seeing is the main chamber directly in front of them and the spider that just come out of the side hole. I, it's, it's, it's kind of... It's moving very slowly towards you. All right. I'm... I mean... Set it on fire. Do it. Yeah, burn everything. <laughs> With my only source of light, the torch. <laughs> really? Hey, we yeah. can see. I got a great idea. Why don't you throw it at it? <laughs> I could throw the torch at it. Yeah, but then if it goes, then out, you can you're... light your shield. If it goes out, I'm screwed. I can't light my shield. I use my light spell. I'm why an advanced. Why don't I uh, grab a? Is there any sticks around? Uh, no. Not in here, there is back there. I'm going to advance and attack it. All right, so go ahead. The Radovan yeah. charges forward, leaving uh, some making space, some room, so that you, t one of you, can Yay. get up level with him if you wish. Um, which would have to be, it, well, it'll have to be Kia. Oh, Vesa. I don't want to do that. Unless Kia wants to lay on the floor and let Vesa climb over top of. Her. I will do that though. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. I will be I'm... a rug mat. I'm going to want the range attack, and as much as I hate him, I don't want to hit Radovan. Okay, well, you can shoot at it. Um, you're just at minus four because Radovan is going to be in hand-to-hand -hand with it. Oh. No. You can hit it, it's just harder to hit it because you're going to be, be, be you're, you're being more cautious not to hit Radovan. Mm-hmm. All right. So you're, gonna, you're basically crouching all the way down so, sh um, so that Racer can get a shot off. Okay, let's yep. get some initiative rolls going, guys. What do we have for initiatives? Twelve. Twelve. Copycat. Oh. All right. Oh my my. <laughs> so Racer and. Do it. Okay, so Racer and um, yeah, get you two or Racer and Radavan. It's Racer, Radavan, Spider, Kia. But Kia's not doing anything, so it doesn't matter. I. Radovan, Should, uh, just a closest? question. Yes. Should Radovan go first because he got a 13 and I got a 9? Or how does um, that work? Actually, he's going to go first because he's physically in melee combat. He's cool. closer to it. The yeah. Radovan, that, you how does that? Is that how it works in like regular battles? Just because I don't know. Yeah, um, pretty much. Whoever is That's closer. Okay, Ooh, cool. Yeah. All right, Radovan swings Swing at the spider and, and misses. Racer loses her arrow. Am I point blank? Uh, yes, you are. It's 20 feet. 17. You hit the spider with your with your pointy arrow. Yeah. D6. Four. And you smack it for four. Okay. Um. Yay, I did something. It lets out a high-pitched, yeah. like a high-pitched squeal. Is that what um, spiders sound kind of like, Lord? Do that again? <laughs> These ones do. These ones sound like that. Sounds like a lot like goblins. I see. Yeah, it sounds like a goblin. There you go. That's more spider-like. Okay. Yeah, um, there it there is. Go. Okay, um, it retracts briefly and then lunges at Radovan. Okay, he puts his shield up as the big bulk of the spider clashes against the shield as he pushes and fends it back. Okay. Um, All right. So back to back to this round, Radovan. Okay, um, during this time, however, with all the vibrations, you are suddenly aware. There's another oh, one no. emerging from this side. Oh no. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 Only okay. Radovan will be able to see it though, right? Uh, only Radovan can see it, yes. Out of the corner of his eye, he sees it moving towards him. Oh no. It is your turn to swing, Radovan. I'm swinging again. Oh my god. Look at him, look. Yo, seriously, man, that's hacks. It's, 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 it it's, is. It's just bad. You guys are just. It is. We're just horrible, yeah. Okay, um, but that's okay. Race is, is behind there... you. Ooh. Can I arrow again? Yes, you can. Nineteen. That, oh, there. yes, you hit him. Awesome. Even with your minuses, you're still managing to pick. <laughs> you're managing to discern the difference between Radovan and the spider and hit the spider each time. Even though in the back of your mind, you're probably having doubts after earlier. 
can still take him out right now. Okay, damage, D6. Four. For four, okay, it's a total of, what's that, eight now? Yeah. Okay, um, right, it is definitely significantly worse for wear. It is still alive, but it is worse for wear. Okay, it lunges once again towards Radovan in an attempt to sink its venomy, venomy dripping fangs into his flesh. Once again, the shield saves your life and parries the, um, parries the lunging advances of the spider. However, this one now is scurrying forward as fast as his little legs can carry him um, across the web, getting ready to lunge and attack you the next round. Okay, um, your turn, Radovan. All right, I'm going to try to put this one out of its misery or miss wildly. Miss wildly. That's, miss wildly. <laughs> and I miss wildly. It's a fumble. Uh, you already knew. Okay, oh, Radovan. God. Okay, as you attempt to swing, um, being so close to the wall, um, you kind of bring this. You bring your morning star around, and your shoulder, your at your elbow catches the wall itself, and the, the kind of the morning star flashes back against you, um, oh. which. Um, good news is you still hold it. The bad news is it's kind of pushed you and your shield out, so I'm not counting your shield as defensive for this round. Okay. Yay. Um, bang. Let's see. Uh, Kia. Uh, you're still laying on the ground, not doing anything? <laughs> um, yeah, actually. Okay, then then it is down to um, Racer. I'm going to sit this one out. <laughs> All right, let's do another arrow. Um, can I see both spiders now? Yes, yes you can. All right, let's go for the new spider. Okay. Um, the new spider is not engaged in combat yet, so you don't have the minus four to hit it. Okay. So it'll be easy for you to hit and do. Of Ready? Course now, it's time in you theory. Miss. Yes. Of course, that's how it's 18. 18. Okay, the arrow looses and splats into the abdomen, abdomen of the spider. God, she really hates Five. Me. There we go. We're on a roll now. This is how well, we roll. She is on a roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> El Spideruni, the first one, lunges at Radovan. Um, it's only a matter of time before it hits me. Dun, 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 dun. And it hits him. No. It sinks pointy teeth into your flesh only doing one points of damage however you will need to make a fortitude saving throw oh yourself. god no not a fortitude like no fortitude you've got a high fortitude well, that is your fortitude i know it's true what fortitude is, my fortitude? is like an eight or something crazy <laughs> um yeah my fortitude's an eight but he's still gonna roll crap because that's how he rolls <laughs> that's yeah. how i roll yeah <laughs> let's see 17. Okay. At, that's, it's a good job you've got that plus 8, dude. I'm just saying it's a good job. Seriously? Okay. Oh, fit, my God. Um, it, basically, the point of the bite, the skin burns in and around it. But being that you are very resilient to such things, um, the poison is not really affecting you. At least, she has. Okay. The second spider dives upon you. Leaping from the web. Landing, also doing one point of damage. And guess what? I gotta do another one. Yeah. Do it again. They're gonna try to wrap. They're gonna try to wrap Radavan up into a little cocoon. Jeez, see these rolls are horrible. Thirteen. Um, that is still karma enough because you only need a twelve against these. Okay. The venom is not for being mean to Racer. What you? What you? Okay. Um. So I'm at like. You do have a couple of spider bites. I'm at like fourteen health now because I was a little bit injured from the earlier. Yeah. It'd be on your sheet. Raysa, your turn. Um, shooty, shooty. Actually, My it's Radovan's turn first, because we're back to the new one. Spider's good. Maybe he'll turn into Superman. Go ahead I mean, Spider-Man. Spider Spider I did. Spider 13. Missed. 13. Um, 13. Come on. Give us, give us something. 13. What are you doing? Nope, that's, you missed by one. Ah. Uh. Okay. Do you swing wildly with your mace and miss, or with your uh, morning star? Racer. Arrow eight. Yeah. yeah. The arrow <laughs> flies and gets stuck on the cobwebs in the other side of the room. The injured oh. spider attempts to bite Radavan and misses. The other spider attempts to bite Radavan and also misses. All, All right. Well. Gnashing away. Radavan standing now, valiantly trying to fend both spiders off. With his shield, it is your turn. And I so. swing again. There we go. Yes. 22. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh. 
with a morning star, that's still not a crit. You've got to roll a 20 to get a crit on a morning star. So, uh, but it is still a good hit. Roll your D8, D8 plus two plus damage. Two. Wow. Right. Yeah. Um, See, I don't always say it, but when I do, it hurts. Okay, this time he brings the mace down on top of the, basically right on top of the spider's head, squishing it like a like the bug that it is. And green gooey stuff goes everywhere. <laughs> Racer. Arrow. Arrow to the knee. 20! Yeah, you hit him. Yeah. Okay, another arrow flies and hits the bug. Four. Three. A three. Total of eight. Okay. This one now lunges at Redavan as well. Um, Naturally. Of course, you're the only Naturally. person that can really attack. <laughs> and it does not hit you. Woo. Um, bringing it over to Redavan, it's your turn, sir. All right, I'm going to swing and swing again. Swing away. Oh, God. Ooh. Swings and misses. It's um, a poison. It's a, yeah, it's a spider pits. <laughs> Arrow 23. Yeah. 23, Arrow, there, you there you go. Um, <laughs> anyway, right with, with your arrows. Much uh, better than last battle. Four. Four. Um, okay, this, this time the third and final arrow thunks into the spider. And it slumps to the floor, unmoving. You have killed it, sir. By the way, I have a feeling there's like 20 more spiders hiding. Yeah. <laughs> 20 could be an exaggeration. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> I don't okay, know. 19. Or... <laughs> okay, so they're dead. You want to move further into the You're room? welcome, Radovan. All right, I finally Same. stand back up. Like, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I, that was I took a, a quick nap while you guys were fighting oh, us. It was it's easy to kill spiders. Yeah, on the quick floor, snooze. Fall over. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do you guys want to go? Let me uncover some map for you. Is Radovan. Yep. The step further in. Right. Um, so you guys have moved further into the room. Um, if Kia gets out of the doorway now, Racer can move in as well. Come on in. Water's warm. Okay. Um, the spiders, to be honest, are not anything that are really worth searching unless you wish to attempt to do anything with the... Oh! Yes, I have vials on my persons as usual. I okay. would like to try and grab some poison. Okay, so you want to try to you want to try to extract extract venom from these spiders? Yes. Okay. Um, because of what you got, what you're trying to do, um, herbalist isn't going to cut it because this isn't herbs. Apothecary, right? So, um, well, no, it's probably not going to be apothecary because that's you're going to use that once you've got it. I would say this would come under um, animal handling. All right. You cool. got to understand how to. Interesting. How to handle the venom? Can I the can I get to know what I need to roll in order to get it first, or is um, this... I can tell you if you'd like to know. Yes. Yes, you will need a sixteen to successfully okay. extract any of this venom. Yeah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. You basically press the spider fangs down into the little vials, and I've got a Ooh. a vial full of thick, gooey, nasty stuff. I'm gonna kind of like do this when I get it, and Radavan, I'm gonna be looking at you. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm just kind of put it in my stuff. <laughs> Look at Radovan's whiskey vial and. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make sure you write it on your sheet because I probably forget that you've got it. Fucking. Right. <laughs> so what did I get? Just one vial? Um, uh, it's yeah. From these two, it's enough to fill one vial, one, one small vial of spider poison. Yeah, but I mean your vials are, you know, we're not talking like little teeny tiny essence of bane sized vials. We're talking more like. Essence of Bane. You know, like a little half pint. <laughs> essence of Bane. Yeah, you guys haven't seen that. Essence of Bane? You haven't seen Essence of Bane? It's, a, it's an actual thing. It's a real I made thing. it. Oh. It's a real thing. Anyways, um, okay. <laughs> so, um, okay, so two dead spiders. Um, you've got the big open chamber here, and there is the cocoon with something in it. And it's um, moving, and right? Got, no, it's not moving. Okay. Uh, uh, but you do I have, uh, you do have other, t uh, other um, you know, four other exits to go through, but you can choose to go through. I'm going to examine the cocoon. Okay, well, it looks like there is some kind of humanoid form inside it. Ooh, let's cut it open. What if okay. it's a human? Yeah, I think we should. Right, you hack open the um, 
the cocoon, pulling all the webbing aside. And inside it, you find what looks like a rather decayed um, skeletal form with loose skin fitting on it, but it, like all the juices have been sucked clean out of this thing. Ugh. It was a goblin at one point, you're pretty sure, by the size <laughs> and the shape of it. <coughs> Yeah, uh, let's loot. It. Is it lootable? Um, <laughs> Does it still have look pockets? Look at Kia all in on the loots of the freaking mummified goblin. Take a look. I'm going see. to. Oh. Yeah. Um, loot rooting through its pockets is. What's up, pockets? Pockets. Um, <laughs> it has four copper pieces, three silver pieces, um, and it has a short sword. I'm gonna oh. take the short sword. Hi. Right. Ooh. Um, I'm still looking for a bow. That's what I would really like. I begrudgingly bow. turn to Risa and say, "My arms are kind of burning right now. Do you have anything for that?" I'm gonna <laughs> give him the eyebrow, <laughs> and I will check my store of herbs, and I should have something for that. I'm, I'm thinking. Okay, so my herbs. I I should being the. Uh, you actually do Mistress have of some poison, poison, yeah. You actually do have some poison antidote. Um, whether or not it would work with this, um, you don't know. I mean... Well, let's try it. Animal bites and stuff like that do tend to need very specific... Um, but you having the fat with... You do have apothecary and you do have some of the venom, so it is entirely... You could create anti-venom for this. Um, probably not right here and now without any ingredients, but... Um, do I have something that I can at least help pacify him for a little bit, like a soothing herb or something? Yeah, you do. I mean, you've got, you've got. I mean, you, you, the stuff that you have will probably, you know, you've got like analgesic type stuff. It'll help, help the 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 area. It'll take some of the burn away. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> would you? It sounds like, like rub, uh, Radavan like should stay away from cats. <laughs> and there's our first shiggle for the night. Oh, yes. It took a while, but we got. Alleviate the burn, please, okay. lady, milady. I think. Okay, so Radovan, you asked, you asked me if I had anything, right? Yeah, I mean, I show you the bites. I'm like, look, these bastards bit me, and it's burning. So. Okay. I'm going to. So I'll reach into my bag, and I'll have something, and I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to go over to. You, and as I get to you, I'm going to say. Oh, good night. Thanks for that. You need to realize, priest, that <laughs> I never deserted you, and I had reasons for things. So you better watch. What you say next time, and I clean you up. Ooh, damn. <laughs> this got, is not dude, one of those romantic scolding. moments. Is yeah, it? you got called the P word. <laughs> Priest. <laughs> those damn P words. All right. I, just, I say no. I say nothing. I, I just I just absorb what she said. I don't respond or retort. <laughs> All right, and I, while they're talking, I've already <laughs> headed this way, this way into this uh, alcove here. Okay, so you're going passage. into this tunnel here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're looking. You got the good news or the bad news? Ah, uh, <laughs> bad news first. Okay, the bad news would be. Um, let me go ahead and extend this out because you can see down here. Um, the good news is, as I said, you you can see the bad news would be that what you can see is something else creepy crawly coming down the tunnel towards Not you as bad. fast as his little legs will carry it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Okay. Kay. So you, you've you seen that. Um, the two at the, the, uh, the rogue and the cleric are at the back taking care. Alright, uh, so I'm going to go up to attack it and while I'm doing that I'm yelling... Come on, guys! What? <laughs> Holy... Uh, sure. Thanks for the follow. Freebo, thanks for the follow also. Thank you. Yeah, we, we Prepo. respond Prepo. in kind. Alright, so you guys are moving up. Okay. Um, now, Wait, Kia, I... do you oh. want to stay at point, or do you want to let Radovan get in front of you? Because this no, spider I'm is coming rapid. I'm going to let rapid. Radovan... I'm going to have my core yeah. staff out, but I'm going to back up so he can get in front of me. Because I am no fighter. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Whoa. no. <laughs> Look at them all scatter. None of you guys are ratnophobic, right? I don't Too think so. Too bad if you are, I'm just saying. 
Okay, so you guys are all backing away. Okay, well, then the spiders are moving forward as fast as they can. When they're on their webs, they're pretty fast. Right. Okay, so the, um, the elves have moved back, leaving Radovan in the middle, standing on the... Now, you can walk on these webs, because they're not, like, super adhesive, but it is kind of sticky and gooey, so your movement is about halved. All and right. you can't move that fast on them. Okay, so the two spiders come lunging forward. Um, so, um, you guys want to... Let's Arrow! Go, let's, um, let's check out. I need, I need to know where Kia's initiative is going to be. Oh, um, mine. Oh, no, actually, we already rolled Kia's initiative as well, didn't we? She just didn't actually have to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Radavan, I believe, is first. So what are you doing, Rad? I'm going to um, attack, I guess. Okay, so you're going to belt the closest spider to you with your yeah. mace? I'm right. Your morning star of just now. Is he taking which one? Is he taking the, uh, the one he's facing right. by the looks of it? The brown one. Perfect. Yes, yeah, that's the closest one. All right. Radovan always goes uh, for brown. Okay. <laughs> so he 12. swings. He swings and misses. Uh, Racer. What about you? I'm gonna take a shot at Greeny. Okay, you're gonna shoot at the one on the Green. other side. Which is, is he a, point blank? Um. Ten, yes. Yes. Twenty. You hit him. Roll your damage. Damn. Five. Hey. Five. That bow that bow is, is is laughing it out tonight. Okay, Kia, what do you want to do? Oh, um, I am I'm, uh, I'm mostly useless for this fight. I'm gonna back up <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's creepy as fuck. Yeah, that is. I'm backing up behind Raysa. <laughs> Again. Okay. Um. So okay. So you're backing up as far as you can. Okay. Um, right. The two spiders we'll that are there, both of them dying. lunge at Radvan. <laughs> both of them, um, as he cowers or valiantly hides behind his shield in a defensive fashion, um, manages to bounce them off of him. We're gonna say it's valiant. We're gonna but go. No, valiant. it's probably <laughs> cowardly. <laughs> it's like get, get behind me. Okay. Um. So that's their attack. Radvan, your turn. Doing it again. There it's always an Yay! interesting dynamic to me when they're out of when they're out of spells, pretty much. Okay, know, Radovan right? swings the Morning Star of Saint Cuthbert, striking one of the spiders. <gasps> oh, look at him go like crunch! Wow, that is a dead boy. See the uh, the the remedy helped. Yeah, that's, that's right. It, it, it loosened up your arm. You can swing yep. it. Okay, you, you. That's what happened. Belt the spider straight in the face, um, smashing and cracking some of its teeth. Um, and m kind of send it reeling backwards it's just teeth. a few feet. Yes, it's the big fangs. Are... Well, yeah, fangs. They have two big fangs, don't they? Okay. Some spiders could have lots of teeth. Anyway, I just um, thought of human teeth, and that it was a very no, strange no, not image. like, not like that. So, um, yeah, that's that one. Um, Racer, it is your turn. Bowing it up. Woo! You're at the what do we one. got? Come on. Waiting. <laughs> Thirteen. 13. 13. Um, missed by one. Very close, but oh. no cigar. Wait, so is that other spider dead yet? Or? No, it's almost dead. It's like, almost it's dead. it's limping along. It's still alive, but it's not actually deceased. All right. Well, I feel good enough to go back up there to try to hit it. Okay, so you're going to you're gonna try to advance and, and engage that one that's coming around. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can't attack this turn because your movement is halved. Um, okay. So just... you can get closer. Okay. We'll get um, close. Right, the spiders. The one that you belted um, isn't going to attack you this turn. It can't. It's, it, it will the next round if it's still alive. The green one dives upon you and it misses. You kind of manage to crouch as its fangs lunge forward. Like, Ooh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it missed you. It is your turn. All right. I'm going to turn to the green one. Okay. And try to hit it. All righty. All right. Come on. You guys need them. Oh. oh my god. Oh, and it's another fumble. That's two. Natural two. one. <laughs> natural one. Natural, <laughs> natural one. I was I was going for snake one. eyes, guys. Okay, this time as you swing your arm back, kind of bring it up in a wide arc to swing it down. You're like, uh, uh, and you realize your hand is caught in some of the sticky, gooey <laughs> web above you. Oh. And you're now kind of standing here with one hand high up in the air and the shield in the way. Um, you're going to have to make a successful strength check to pull that free. Oh. Um, oh. So that... Yeah. Strength, and you got what? 
uh, for you is uh, you're pretty strong. It's fourteen. <laughs> so I do one d twenty plus two. Twenty plus two. Oh, one d twenty plus two. That's right. Because it's... yep, you don't need a ten or higher. Nope. Uh, no. Okay. This. So your the... arm is stuck That's in the goo. One. Another one. Damn! Look at him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. So, um, yeah, he's all gooed up. He he's very vulnerable all of a sudden. Okay, uh, Raysa, it's your turn. Oh. All right, shooty, shooty, arrow, arrow. Uh, the green one or the brown oh, one? Oh, God. Uh, probably the green one, because the brown one's got a router van in the way. Yes, okay, shoot the green one. 25! Yeah! Hey, ladies 20. and gentlemen. Oh, thank God. Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Roll again. <laughs> Roll to see if you get a hit again. You might get, another, you might get a quit. 10. No, okay, still hit him for D6. Two. Or two, which is enough with the damage you've already done to kill that spider. Okay, he's dead. Um, which is really lucky because Radovan is like struggling right now to try to get his good. try to get his, his mace hand back. Um, Saving your ass, yeah, priest. It's your turn. Yep, I'm gonna. The, the mashed up, wounded, almost dead spider looks like it's about to crawl to Radovan's feet and try to sink its nasty fangs into his leg. <laughs> I hit him. Woo! Wish, wish, wish. Thanks for the follow. You hit. Yes, indeed. Roll your d6. Roll a d6. Three. A three, which with a combined damage that was already been done by the Mace of Justice is enough. As you Yay. smack your morning, uh, your quarterstaff down hard across the back of this thing, and you hear a loud crunch as its thorax breaks, and it is no longer moving. It oh is dead. Oh, my God. Radovan is now struggling with one hand stuck. Um, now you're not under attack, of course. You can use both hands to pull it free a lot easier. So as I do. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So what do you guys want to do now? You've, you've, you've killed two more spiders. You've still got the four exits. Yeah. Two in front of you and sort of God. one below you and one... Okay, Kia is Kia's on the march. She's going straight forward, pushing her way through this tunnel right here. I follow. Okay. I'm going to stay in the rear, yeah. Why am I going first? That was a stupid decision. I don't know why you're going <laughs> yeah, first. You can lay on the Kia, floor if there's like anything dangerous. I'm gonna can some... I lie on the floor and go ahead and let Radovan step over me while then, we're at I mean, this, this corridor is a little wider. There is room for Radovan to squeeze Okay, past just you get around places. me, boy. Can't, I'm boy. not going first. Boy? 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 Alright. Where's the mama? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Right, Radovan. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, as you move up the corridor. Um You've still got your torch light, right? Uh I hope yes. so, yeah. Okay, good deal. Um let me let me unveil <laughs> some more map for you. <laughs> there you go, Radovan. Uh, let's go, right, let's go, move it. That's what I'm <laughs> telling you. Alright, so there you go. Okay. Oh, it's sticking to the wall, so I leave more. Yep. Uh -oh. Alright. There it is. There we okay, go. You can see another spider, like, waiting on the. It's kind of waiting in, on, on the cobwebs directly ahead of you, looking at you with its eight beady eyes. I'm gonna squish in front of Kia, but beside Radovan. Okay. <laughs> it's poised, ready to strike. But it seems hesitant. Uh oh. Shoot it. Is it waiting for. Yeah, yeah shoot it. Raisa, shoot it. There you go. 12. Ah. Okay, you fire the arrow at it and it misses. Okay, it kind of clings to the side of the wall. Um, using the cobwebs, it's actually kind of coming up and around the side, like above you. You notice that inside this chamber, the ceilings are significantly higher. They're so tall, in fact, that you can't see the top, even with your torch. Oh, oh no! So this guy is coming. This guy is kind of coming along the wall, cobwebs, running along the side of the wall to get to you. Oh no! It's time to play whack a mole. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Whack a spider. I guess I gotta move forward and attack it if I can reach it. Okay, can I reach as it? you move forward, suddenly there is a loud crunch <laughs> as the floor beneath you gives way. 
Oh, what? Um, Radovan suddenly is tumbling in a direct downward descent. Um, How quick are my reflexes? Can I reach forward and try and grab him? Um, You're not going to be able to no, hold not, me. Well, you if, need to if, do you're a reflex probably save, pulling yourself right? in if you do. I'm um, wearing full plate save. armor, guys. Okay, I don't like him anyway, okay. so I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> Radovan, you may, although this is almost, a, a, you know, a joke I'm, with you. I'm um, going to die, aren't you I? You can make a dexterity check to attempt. Oh, God. What does he have to, to roll? See if you can catch the side. What does he um, have to roll? You're going to need a 15. Come on, man. Radovan. And Radovan's Radovan. dexterity modifier is a minus away. one. Oh my gosh. Oh god. And that's to catch the side. Then he's actually going to have a hell of a time not falling because of the weight on his body. Radovan. Let's see if he manages to do that Radovan. 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 No. Yes! Okay. <laughs> As Radovan falls down into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, because it is so heavily lined with thick cobwebs, cobwebs, they kind of cushion a lot of the blow from the fall. Yeah. Um, you take 2d6 worth of damage from the fall, which actually only adds up to 3. You're very lucky. Yay! Oh okay, thanks for the follow. Um, but you are now Ooh. laying in a pit that is about 15 foot deep. Um, and you are all gooed up, covered... Like in this sticky cobweb, as you lay there on your back, looking up. What happened to the torch? Um, the torch is down the hole with him. Yep. Yep. Um. There's also, it starts to smolder because the torch is laying on the cobweb, so the cobweb down oh. there is starting to catch. Well, I pick it up, obviously, and uh, stop well, it you have to make a strength check to be able to move first of all, because you're covered oh. in this sticky, this sticky crap. Oh God. So to pull that arm free. Just make thanks for the follow. Um, to pull that arm free, you can. I see check. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, so that's plus two. All right. Oh. My rolls tonight have been Could so bad. Could it be bad. the end of Radovan tonight? It's no, the end okay. of Radovan. As you attempt it to lift your arm, it's just stuck solid, um, which means that the cobweb is now catching, uh, and the left side of the the cobwebs going up the left side of the pit are beginning to burn. Um, not a good place for you to stay for long. Okay, ladies, you've seen him come falling down the hole. Um, the spider, um, with the fact that the cobwebs are now caught fire and starting to um, starting to burn down in there, doesn't seem to be interested in following him down. Um, right. Instead, it's pouncing forward to attack Racer. Okay, you have the initiative, so Racer, you can get a shot off for... If you want to, you can either change to your short sword and have it in hand when it gets there, or you can take a shot with your ready bow. I'm going to take a shot with the bow. Okay, far away. 20! You hit it. Okay, roll your damage, D6. Thank God you hit it. Here. One. Three! Three, Three. okay. <laughs> right as it leaps towards you, you loose the arrow, and it kind of skims across its undersection. Um, and then it lands directly in front of you. Pia, um, what do you want to do? Okay, what is the likelihood if I did try to pull him up with a rope? Can I even... Well, the problem is the cobwebs are catching fire, um, and what's worse is he's stuck down there, so he can't really. He can put one hand on the rope. Um, I mean, the first thing you do is you've got to get. He's got to get free. He's got to get to where he can actually maneuver. He's laying. He's so covered in cobwebs on his back. It's like he's laying on a big, like a big piece of flypaper. He can't move. So, is do we want to get rid of the cobwebs? Is That's that what we're trying to do? <laughs> or would he fall further? Uh, he's not. He's not going to fall any further. Okay. But if all those cobwebs down there catch, it's a good job. It's damp because they're smoldering and they're like they didn't just like go up in a huge big you know. Uh, yeah. If it had a bit, yeah. Probably but I'm in, still in, in plate armor down there. He's not easy to move. Um, in any case, you need. Yeah. What do you want to do? Um, because races basic races toe to toe with one of the big spiders right now. Right. Well, I still don't understand. Like, um, we're trying to get rid of these cobweb webs so he can move, right? Um, in theory, fifteen foot down. In theory, yeah. fifteen feet down. Okay. Can I um, telekinesis my uh, my quarter staff and bring it down there to like start? Um, you like. 
get it to move. Hit Hit the the you know? uh, well, the only problem with that yeah. is the telekinesis can't carry much weight, so it's probably going to get stuck in the cobwebs. Because it's not going to have the strength, the weight resistance to pull away from it. Mm. Okay, um, don't want that. But you, you need to make a decision. You either need to attack or do something. Because if not, I'm just going to skip you. <laughs> Can I telekinesis the torch and move that around and burn? You'd have to get to where you can see it down the tunnel. So you'd actually have to move over to the pit edge and look down. I'm pretty much right there anyway. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to move... Okay, so that's what you want to do? Uh, can't really uh, get it. Yeah. Yep. I need to... I should have moved that to the bottom. There you go. Now you can move uh, it. Solved. Just... Problem solved. Okay. And let me put Radavan in the pit. Stop <laughs> put me in the pit, yeah. There you yeah, I'm storing my life, man, in the pit. And you're going to be, like, on the edge here. Yeah. It's hard to move there. Okay. Yeah, you're just going to use, um, if you want to, if you want to, uh, to move, like, if you want to move yourself, like, in specific spots, hold down Alt. Oh. And it will allow you to put yourself yeah. anywhere. It breaks the, breaks the grid rule. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, you're going to do that, and you're going to try to telekinesis the torch. Yeah, and then try to burn some of the cobwebs. Alrighty, so, you're... Ooh. Your telekinesis is like pulling up. Um, the, the the problem with burning the cobwebs is he's down there. If you if they all catch, you could roast him alive. Well, this could be fun. Be careful. <laughs> Chris, Chris <laughs> I'll try not to put it in the parts where it looks like everything will catch. I'll start right, with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Well, uh, yeah. Well, we'll as I said, see. it is damp, so it, it's we'll that's going that's going in your favor. Okay. So you you telekinesis the tor the torch and start moving it around to try to catch different parts of the webbing. Um, this is pretty, uh, pretty, con um, you know, makes you feel a little uncomfortable there, Radavan, because there's like flames popping up all around you. Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. Um, so, Spider Boy lunges and attempts to sink his fangs into Racer, but he misses. Okay, Radavan, would you like to make another strength check to see if uh, you can pull yourself free? Definitely. Oh my god. All there right. There we go. Woo! Okay, this time with some of the cobwebs burnt, um, <laughs> you manage to wrestle and yank yourself up. So you're now in kind of like a sitting position. You've got your arms free and you're kind of sitting in the hole now. Can I bat at any of the... Are the flames near... I mean, they're obviously near me, but are there any that I'm I can not, try to swat away and get rid of? There's none that are like putting your life in danger right now. All right. Um, um, can course, I free my lower half? Like, can I... Yeah, I mean, you, you can you can stand up. So I stand that's up. pretty much going to be your whole action, getting free. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, right. Kia, you're going to continue to burn more cobwebs, I take it? Yes. Okay, so you're doing that. Uh, Raysa, you're toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spider-Boy. Yep, time to shank a bitch. Um, you can also see on the opposite side, there is another spider coming into view and heading in your direction. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay for spiders! Yay! Love spiders, everybody. <laughs> so, um... Okay, what do you want to do with your spider? Shank Short a bit. <laughs> dab it. Dab you stab, yeah. stab. Turn it into an earring. Oops, I put <laughs> I put my roll in chat instead of... <laughs> 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 Win! And it there didn't even go. show up. That's awesome, K-12. Well, okay. You lunge forward with a short sword, but you miss it. Um, okay. Um, spider dives at you. Missing also. Uh, the other spider Yay. is moving forward and is now poised, looking down. The t look, he's like, as Shadow, as Radavan looks up, he's just in time to see a spider like, and look straight down the hole at him. <laughs> what? I got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Kia, um, there's a spider on the opposite side of the pit from Radavan, looking down at him. Um, obviously, you've got Racer to your left and the spider to your left. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, let's see, 10 feet. Um, I can go around and hit it. There is a, yeah, there is actually, a, you can see that there is a little ledge around there, so you can. So you're going to maneuver around that and belt the thing with your quarterstaff. Okay, go ahead. D20. Oh. You lunge with your quarterstaff Ew. overhead, but miss the spider. So sad. Oh, God. Alrighty, um, <laughs> so, Radovan. Uh, I guess I had to do pit. my beautiful climb check, which is horrible. Radavan's uh, going to try to climb uh, 15 feet out of a hole. What is it again? Negative what? Well, I mean, I don't have any other options. Like, I can no, pick up the Radovan's I can pick up the torch and throw it at the spider leering at me, right? You're at, like, minus but, four, I think, aren't you? 
the climb? Uh, my climb is minus four, yes. Yeah. I'm going to give you a plus one because the cobwebs are something that will help you. So minus three. So minus three. And you're going to need... was burning all of them. You will need a 15 to climb out. We 1d20 climb up the side where the flames are not. Oh, this is not going to happen. 1d20 <laughs> minus three? <laughs> That's not going to happen. You 15. You can do it. You can do it. It, can be, it can be done. <laughs> It's not lightly. No. Oh, that was oh close. so close! Okay. If it wasn't for the sheer weight of that scale mail, you probably could, but it's just it's yeah. too much. He's going to need help. Yeah. So you guys are going to have to help. You guys are pretty much going to have to take care of the spiders and then get the rope down to him. And help him. I'll keep trying, guys. I'll keep okay. trying. Uh, Good thing so, I have a Raysa. rope, priest. Yeah. Uh, your turn, Raysa. Uh, I guess i got to go at the guy that's right in my face. So stab at the spider again. Two. Nope. Oh, what a one. How harsh. Look yeah, how bad that is. One. Okay. Oh. You lunge forward with your short sword um, in an attempt to stab yeah, the maybe. spider. As you do so, one of its arms kind of clashes against you, or one of its legs, sorry, clashes against you. Make a dexterity check. If you fail, you're going to lose that weapon and it's going to fly down that hole. Um, <laughs> so the ability mod the modifier on my dex? Yep. D20, okay. uh, and you're going to need a, um, let's see. You're going to need, with your modifier, you need a 15 to hang on to this thing. Oh, my no. weapon, my okay. short sword. <laughs> your short sword comes flying out of your hand, lunging <laughs> forward. As Heads you're attempting to climb up, a short sword comes <laughs> clattering down the hole towards Holy you. Holy shit. It's <laughs> Can it please hit him? Weapons at me. Can it please hit him in the head? <laughs> yeah. Just like, the, like, oh. like not blade um. side, but like, <laughs> Please. Okay, um, you're now weaponless with the spider right now. Oh, Good shit. job you've I, got backups, right? I've got daggers everywhere. And there you go. <laughs> okay, um, Kia. What do you want to do? Yep, smack, smack, smack. <laughs> it's no fun when you're out of spells, is it? It's not. <laughs> not for I a sorceress. Need... Yeah. 13, nope. you lunge and miss. Okay, Raysa, your ah. spider dives at you and misses. The spider up the top here now, knowing that he has to deal with Sorceress attempts to bite Yeliana. Do and it. He misses. Yes, Lunges really forward. Hi, right. Radavan. Um, yep. You're down the bottom. You can see this. Spider, I know. I, I, but you well, can't I mean, reach it. Fifteen wait, I, foot up. I just got to keep climbing, right? I mean, you're not climbing anywhere. You just can't. I got to keep trying, though. Not uh, with a fifteen. Like I can't just keep trying. No. You got a short what? sword. Throw it. At the spider? Yeah, throw no, the shorts. No, it's a shorts. sheer pit. I mean, if you couldn't do it the first time, you're not going to do it this time. Ah, this is one what of those if... things that you're either good enough to climb it or you're not. No, no, God, throw, that's not throw my sword at the spider. I, I pick up the throat and, uh, as the sword that fell and throw it. You want to hurl oh, it my... at the spider? Okay, I'll give you an image. Don't hit me, please. Um, I mean, it's going to be at a minus... I mean, it's going to be counted as a minus five, so... Okay, then it counts okay, as a minus five. It. See what happens. So, 1d20 <laughs> minus five? Um, yep. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay, you throw it up there, it doesn't even make it out the pit, it hits the cobwebs and comes clattering back down. About halfway it gets stuck in the cobwebs. <laughs> okay, racer. Um, you have to, what do you want to do? You yank well, a dagger? I gotta grab a dagger and, sh and shank a bitch. Alright. If you that's hit so daggers funny. down to D4 for damage. Two! Another oh. one! Oh my oh god! My are you dice cursed tonight? It's big or none. That's it. it it's going it's between. True. Right. There, that, that's it. It's all or nothing with you. I didn't. Know. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. You lunge forward. This time you don't lose the dagger, um, but you do kind of slip a little bit and lose your footing. Um. So you, that that you know your attack misses and it does leave you a little bit more vulnerable for the next attack. Yeah. Okay. What are you Guess doing? Guess what I'm doing. Smacking with your trying to belt this thing. With your yes! There you go. <laughs> Okay, oh, you smack God. it with your quarterstaff. Roll your d6 for damage. Yay! A four. Okay. Alrighty. The spiders. The one that lunges at race out misses. The other one lunges at Kia. And also misses. You guys are getting lucky. Um, Radavan, what do you want to do? Um. <laughs> it's not a lot you can do, really. Give us really. some words of encouragement. Give us some Unless you've got any spells that you can Oh, have. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cast Resistance. Oh, on, thanks for the follow, man. On Risa, because she lost her weapon. 
You can't see racer. Oh, so it, it can only be Kia. Double check it. I can't. Um, remember. subject gains plus one on saving throw on saving throws. It doesn't say. I think you've got to be able to see. It's target. so I can only see Kia. Don't worry. Thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, you could only cast it on. Yeah, to help me out of default. Um. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cast protection from chaos on on Kia. Protection from uh -huh. chaos. Okay. Uh, well, plus you know two on. They're, you know they're chaotic, so that would work. Yes. <clears throat> plus two on uh, plus two on a on armor class and saves counter mind control headshot elements balls and outsiders. Right, so. that, that plus two AC will definitely help her. That's for sure. So that's what I do. I do. Okay, good deal. Awesome. Good that's use. me chanting, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So suddenly you feel like Thank you. a protective glow around your body. Ooh. Ooh. Alrighty. Um, so you've done that. Um, Raysa, your turn. Yes. All right. It's down to you, Raysa. All right. Dagger 15. It's Yay. stab forward. Dagger is a D4. Oh, thank God. It's only a D4 for damage. Three. three. A three. Okay. You give it a nasty gash. Okie dokie. Um, here. Swing away. Swing away. You're now slightly more protected, so hopefully it won't kill you. Hopefully. <laughs> we never know. Oh, 19. 19. God. D6 damage. Kia. Kia. Three. Okay, you, you two are slow. I mean, you two are beating these things. It's I mean, they're not dead slowly. yet, but they're starting like to. They're definitely looking worse for wear. <laughs> okay, the one attacking racer huh. lunges and misses. The one that attacks Kia would have hit you if it had not been for that spell being cast. So that go, just... Radovan. There you go. Radovan's, Radovan's protection from chaos just protected you. It worked. Uh, is, I'm still useful. Victory. Okay. <laughs> um, Radovan, what do you want to do? Um, I mean, down to the like, wire now, people. Shouting words of encouragement. Be like, you can do this, guys. I believe in you. <laughs> Go on, Kia, yes, you man. can do it! Yeah. <laughs> you can do it! Yes, Kia, you can do it's it! Just, it's just a voice from the hole. It's like, you can do it! You a can voice do from it. the hole believes in you. Okay, that sounds um, wrong. Raysa, your turn. I'm sorry. Uh, well, well, I'm going to uh, dagger him again. Stab, stab. For nine! Uh, okay, nope, you missed that time. Kia. <laughs> You guys need to kill these fun. things and get this boy out of this hole. I know, but we're not going miss. to. Oh, okay. my God. oh, the bad news is this time the spider actually does manage to bite. Think it's fangs for three points of damage into Racer's arm. Yes. And Racer needs to make a fortitude check. Okay. And you need a 12 or higher. It's very sad. I'm sorry that That's a d20 plus? D20 plus whatever your base fortitude save is. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. Um, right, you can feel the venom coursing through your veins. Okay. Which doesn't feel oh, good, no. ironically. No. Um, which, it doesn't actually do any points of damage. But temporarily, um, your strength is reduced by three. It's like sapping your. It's like taking your energy. What's it's that? like sapping your energy from you. Oh no! So What's for the time being, strength? until you until you're healed or it wears off, your strength is down to a seven, which puts you at minus two to attack and minus two on your damage. You're pretty piss poor right now. I can't be the the one left to destroy these things. <laughs> it's down to the sorceress to melee oh, the two giant spiders. This is awesome. I but have a short sword. Nip, should you succeed? Hey, that's I have that a short sword. The other me. spider doesn't hit you. Yeah, but you're gonna suck with it. You're better with it. <laughs> okay, it misses you. Still. Um, okay. So it is Radavan's turn. You hear you hear a yell. I mean, you're gonna hear a shriek come from Raysa. Yeah, I have like no freaking magic. I mean, I could do resistance on, but I can't see Raysa. Oh, uh, someone's gonna need healing if you if if you get out of here. And right? I need healing too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can do it more! You can do it more! <laughs> you can do Raysa, it more. maybe you should more work on getting out of band. More! <laughs> can't you can do it more, right? I'm sorry for everything I did fucking wrong! Okay, um, alright, Raysa, your turn. Okay, so now it's I get a minus? You are at, with a, with a strength of only um, seven, yes, you're at minus two. Well, you're plus one, so you're at minus one to hit. 
and you'll be at minus two on your damage as well. 17. You still hit, however. Um, but it's a d4 minus two for damage. You'll still so, do at least one, but... One d4 minus two. What if yeah. we get a negative? Negative so one! That counts as a one, so it's always... A minimum okay. is going to be a one. Okay, okay. Okay, um, so you give it another nasty little nick on the leg. And it's still alive. Oh my Kia, God. You're, it's down to Kia. Kia Liana. Okay, come on, come on. You can do it. Oh. Yay! Oh, so yes! Another good smack with the quarter staff. Roll that d6. Oh. A one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> okay, this you thought it was going to be quick again. and easy, missing Gore. Uh. And missing here. Okay. It moved like an a inch down this tunnel. Radovan so is like, Radovan screaming encouragement still. Race up. Alright. Uh, oh, 1d20. Minus one. D20 minus one to hit, yeah. It's so close to dead. You can do it. 19! <laughs> Look at that. Even though... It... Oh, God. Even though... Natural 20! There we go. Roll for a crit. Crit could be... Crit oh. could be all in <laughs> Oh, yeah. I rolled the wrong thing. Didn't get a crit, thing. Did crit first, because then it'll double it to two. Uh, so... <laughs> D20 minus one again. What? I need to get a 20 again? No, you just need a hit. 14. Which is enough, just so yes, it doubles it to two, which the, the two is actually enough, finally, finally, to kill I, the spy. I give up. You are, I, I, I need whiskey. Somehow I don't feel very accomplished on that kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, so, um, Kieliana, it's you and the you and the last spider here. Uh, it's almost dead, almost dead. Destroy all. And you swing and miss. Okay. Swing and a miss. It dives at you, uh, missing you. Okay, at least now hey, Racer hey. is up here and can assist you. And Racer can use her short bow. Yes. Um, so now we're at d20 plus... Normally, because your short bow, it comes off of your dexterity, not your strength. Ooh. Because it's how... It, it, you know, it's based on... A, it's, it's, it's more of a skill thing than a brute force thing. Point blank? Yes. 22. Time, oh, time to finish it. There we go. D6. Oh, thank God. This could be it. This could be the final blow. Yes, Two. there you go. Finally. Oh, my God. The last of the spiders is deceased. As and Radovan now we pull up Radovan. So right now you've got Kieliana at the top, virtually spellless. You've got the cleric at the bottom of the pit, beaten, bashed, bruised, and I only have two spellless. spells left to heal. And you have Raysa at the top, who is under the effects of spider <laughs> venom and feeling like crapola. So how do you guys want to deal with what's, what's your what's your course of action here? First, Radovan. Down the rope. Let's get the rope, and Raysa and I will pull up, pull him up. We'll try. Well, climb too. Right. Well, my him, strength is down. Yeah, she's not very strong. Oh, uh, with him climbing and you two pulling, um, you eventually will get him up. So yeah, it takes a little bit of it takes a little bit of work. Finally, oh. I mean he's only fifteen feet. He emerges from the top of the pit and thanks guys collapses or collapses on the side in exhaust oh. exhaustion. All right, so you got two heal spells to to dish, and of course you still got your cantrips. You're, you've got all your little baby heels, right? Yeah, but I got my regular you baby got some heels. Of those, which, which are one pointers. And I'm flawless. So, <laughs> that's what who's, she said. who's the, mo I mean, who's the most <laughs> wounded here? Like, I'm wounded, I know that. <laughs> but, Raysa, are you the second most wounded? Um, I'm three I'm points wounded. down and uh, poisoned. And poisons. Your light wounds is not going to help the poison. <laughs> which I can probably unpoison myself. Eventually. Yeah. And Kia. Oh, you're do I get? I want my my short sword back. <laughs> yeah, you can re you can kind of reach down and grab it and pull it back. Up. Okay, good. I, I am. Uh, I have all my points. I'm fine. Yeah. So. All right. So I guess um. I'll do a cantrip heal on Risa. Okay, so that heals her one point. Right. Do I have to roll for it or? No, no. Yeah. Just a one. And then. One point. Yep. So heals you back one. I'm down more, so I'm gonna actually heal. Okay, D8 plus two. Come on. Woot. Yay! But eight, excellent. Okay, so at least Yay. you're back on your feet and you're, you're, you're a bit more... Okay. Um, and I'm going to assume you're coming up on the... Uh, I mean, you guys are all going to be up on this side of the pit. You're not dumb enough to come up the other side. Or are you? You could be. 
Okay, the first thing really I want to do after this is I am checking for I'm traps. I am yeah, checking for imagine, traps. Imagine that, a skill that you could have done. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is it was just, it was, that, that's the, that was the joy of it. It just wasn't expected, was it? It was like, yeah. right? What did that well, I mean, like? spiders right. don't lay traps. Well, they do lay traps, that's not oh, true. trap door spiders do. <laughs> that's true, you're right. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you guys are up. Um, you're in, there's like a large cavern. However, at the far end of the cavern, you are aware, now you can kind of see around this corner, something rather impressive. There is a strong beam of moonlight shining directly <gasps> down from a hole on a large patch of dirt ahead of you. Oh my um, gosh. Go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this for you guys so you can get all... Dirt okay. or rocks? Oh my god. Um, oh. It is like, it's rock, but there's dirt. No, don't get too, uh, you, you really want to run over? Is that what you're running? You're running straight down. Uh, really? No, no, no. <laughs> is that what you're doing? Traps. Just, Sorry, just checking, not. just checking. If you move, <laughs> I'm going to assume that that's what you did. Okay. Checking for traps. Um, not quite what you was expecting, however, can be seen. It is indeed <gasps> a plant, and it does indeed have six tendrils. Oh no. However, this plant, oh, um, is about six foot tall. In what? each of the tendrils, it is clutching what appears to be a weapon, and one of them is holding a shield. The thing is like literally like writhing around as the weapons kind of move at the end of the tendrils. This strange magical plant seems to have some kind of life of its own. Um, you're pretty sure, however, that this could indeed be the hexen bomb that you are looking for. And that's what the statue was <gasps> with the eight legs. Was it? Was well, six legs? All right. No, the statue had eight legs. It was a spider. It was. So there's there's <laughs> a mother they, spider in yeah, here. The goblins there. were kind of like worshiping, you know, the whole yeah. the no, spiders I stand and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So there I'm it is. It's, it's from there. It, the moonlight is shining it. down. Um, um, you can see two more cocoons either side as well. Now specifically, we are looking for the seeds of the plant. You want the seeds? Yes. You need three of them. But we'll take as many as we can get. Damn straight. Yeah. Um, okay. It has D2 seeds on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do we Make want... It's impossible to you to get three. Do we want to open the, um... Well, my traps. Have my trap searching. How did that go? Um... Make a, uh, did you make a search check for your traps? What? what, what? Twenty-six. Nuts. Wow, look at, look at that. Like Natural a twenty! Okay. The good news is, there are, you find no traps. However, what you do manage to notice is as you're searching the ground for traps, picking in and around, you notice certain strands, some of the thicker strands of web seem to be vibrating slightly. As your eyes point upwards from the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Lowering itself down attached to a large thick vine is a spider that is at least twice the size of everything you've seen already. It's a huge, big, fat, bloated black. It was almost right on top of Racer when she looked up just in time to see it and manages to leap back right before it pounces. <laughs> oh. I it. Yep. Yep. The big right, nasty black it. spider let's of death. Let's do it. Okay. So what do you guys want to do? Shoot. Okay, so you're going to leap back and your first reaction is you're going to fire the bow at it and like just dive back and fire, which makes perfect sense. Radovan, what is your choice? What are you? Gonna I'm do? casting my last spell of the day. Okay, oh, what no. are you casting? Resistance on myself because I'm gonna get up in there. Resistance. Ah. Yes. What plus one on saving throws? Yep. Okay, so you're doing resistance, and then you're gonna dive in melee. Um, and what are you gonna do, Kia? Uh, for now, <laughs> I'm just gonna back up till I figure out what I want to do. Okay. Right, so you back into a you, you're backing up behind these guys. Okay, the thing comes down. The first thing it does is um, it fires what looks like a web from its fangs, like almost like Spidey. Pachin! Everybody gets one. Um, it fires this web <laughs> straight towards you. Um, it flies right over your head, Radovan, and sticks to the wall, kind of to the side of you. Like, yeah. Big gooey thing. 
Do we um, still have the torch? The the thickness of this, however, is significantly thicker than the webbing that you've seen before, and enough to know that if it was to you know if it was to catch you, knowing how much you struggled to get out of the webbing previously, this could be a very nasty situation to be stuck behind. Okay. Okay. The tor the torch is with us, I think, right? Um, the torch is down the pit still. What? Because oh. Kia was manipulating it and bouncing it around to burn, but no one bothered to bring it up. But by now, that torch is pretty much um, burnt out. However, mm -hmm. there is moonlight in here, so you can kind of sort of see. Okay. Elves can see easy. It's This thing is huge and right in front of you, so it's not hard for you to miss it either, Redovan. Yeah, all right. right. Okay, so... Um, Good luck, guys. The race is going <laughs> to shoot at this thing. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Twang away. Fire that bow. Eleven. Okay. The arrow looses from Race's bow um, and flies into the dark, disappearing between two of the legs and out the other side. Doesn't actually hit. Radavan, you've cast your spell um, last round, um, so you can now charge forward valiantly. You're what I do. And engage the giant Shelobish type spider. Can you talk Boom. to the spider? It says. <laughs> 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 that is so creepy. It is. That uh, damage, though, guys. And oh, yes. That hit nice. that damage. So Radovan hits it. Roll the damage. D8 plus 2. Yeah. Plus 7. Nice. Okay. Let me just make sure I get the right spider. Okay. Hit it for 7. Okay, as big as the thing is, um, you belt it as hard as you possibly can. Um, it hurt it, but nowhere near as much as you were really thinking or hoping that it would. Um, Kia, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna rest. Okay, you stand back there. Okay, yep. the spider lunges forward with its forelegs, trying to grab and pin Radovan to the floor and sink its <laughs> giant fangs into his flesh. Um, skillfully, he brings his shield up and just deflects it at the Go last minute. Go Radovan! Um, Damn, baby. Back to Raysa. Alright, I want to move to the side as it just jumped on Radovan okay. and try and knife it in the back. So uh, we're going to go for the right, back You're going to have to get right behind it. To, right behind to it? Like right here. Well, it moved, It jumped on Radovan, didn't it? Kind of like lunged forward at him. like not. It's not physically on top of him, no. Okay. So you're going to try to maneuver around it. Okay. Um, Without move, getting hit by the plant you're behind You're going to need to make either. a sneak roll. Uh, yeah, you're pretty damn close between you and the plant. It might reach you. You don't know how long those tendons how long those tendons can stretch. Um, That's a choice sneak. you've got to make. I'll have an eye on it. Okay. So you're going to try it. All right. Make a um, sneak check. Okay. Where? What is sneak so under? You're going to be using your um, move silently. Thank you. Ooh. No. With its wow. eight eyes, the spider is very capable <laughs> of noticing that you're trying to flank oh, it. No. And it just kind of moves itself slightly to the side, like turns, so that it can manage to, you know, stops you from getting behind it. So I'm going to shout to Radova and try and push it back into the plant. Okay. Yeah. Well, move forward towards it because it moved away from me. And it's gonna move I away said, from yeah, you. give me a minute. It's my turn. You know, I'll do he's it. Got, he's going to survive. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to not die survive. first. <laughs> so I, I, I move forward and attack again. Is it my turn? Or is... Um, it is. Yes, it is your turn. Okay. Oh, God. Yay. Awkward. Buddy. All oh, the failing rolls. A, five. a terrible five. Okay, you swing your mace wildly at it. Almost in blind panic. Here. Can't with that Can I have woman Cal? yelling at me. Can I have Cal try to sneak to the side like Raysa did and try to touch? You can touch try that. The spider for the yep. fatigue. Okay, so you're gonna you, you basically send Cal. Good luck, Cal. I love you. you know what we need to do. <laughs> love you, son. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Cal, everybody. Cal. <laughs> I'm going Cal, to leave, Cal is not this big, but I'm going to leave him fairly big so that he can still be seen by him. <laughs> okay. Right, so Cal is going to move over to here and try to brush against the side of the spider. Make a touch attack for Cal. What is that? Uh, basically roll a d20. Okay. 
Cal is at like plus one. Five. Oh no! <laughs> no, Cal. Kill the cat! Kill the Cal cat! Cal attempts to brush against the spider legs, um, drawing the attention of the spider as it sees it creep. No! <laughs> He's a cat though. He's quick. No! Get out of there, you okay. stupid animal! Get the cat to run to the plant. It is the spider's attack. Okay. The spider, seeing the spider moving, or seeing the cat move up between its legs, dives down upon the cat. Oh, shit. Huge fangs come crashing down, and just <laughs> just at the last second, the cat manages to leap to the side, clinging to the cobwebs and rolling around. Cal is now, Cal is now kind of stuck on the cobwebs to the side of the wall here. He can't move. He's like, oh my gosh, he's struggling and dust in pieces stuck to the side. So Cal, Cal manages Shiggles. to avoid the blow, but in the attempt of doing so, he's got himself wrapped up in all the cobwebs. Oh, he <laughs> giggles. Look at him go. Look, it's friggin' awesome. Okay. I'm so happy right now that that cat took the attack. <laughs> you have uh, no idea. You just, that cat saved your life. Oh it would have went for right. you, Radavan. Okay. No. Uh, so Racer, Eight lives left. Giggles number two. There you go. Racer, it's your attack. Okay. Um, the, the spider is temporarily preoccupied by trying in its attempt to murder the small feline. <laughs> um, you you could attempt to go behind it again, but you're definitely going to get close enough to the, the hex and bomb thing. Yeah. If you do that, or you can just um, attack it from the side. You know what? I will do a side range attack. Okay, so you're going to stay where you are and just shoot at it. That makes yeah. sense. Okay, D twenty plus five. Cal said, what the fuck are you making me do? <laughs> These rolls, though, seriously. I know, really? Yeah, Cal, Cal's going to be pissed at you for a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> Rosa fires remember. the blow, missing the spider, and... <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that would be too cruel. Okay, Redavan. Doing it. Go to toe with the spider. And he hits it. Yay. It's the spider, D8 plus 2 the pain for another five. Mm, another pain. The pain. 13. Okay, this thing is still absorbing the blows. Jesus. Um, it's moderately wounded, but it's it's still pretty, still pretty intact. It's still pretty oh, hefty. No. I mean, this is a biggish spider. This thing is more like the size of a small pony. So, you know. Pony spider! Pony spider. <laughs> pony express. Okay. Um, so, Kia... Now you've got your cat stuck against the wall. What do you want to do next? I'm going to do absolutely nothing. You're going to look at your cat going... I'm going to say, just, just good do you luck. Want to help, do you want to attempt to help the cat, or do you want to look at it just struggle and swim Well, if I attempt just... to help the cat, then I'll be in range of getting killed. <laughs> this familiar is going to, like, leave you. It's like, fuck you, mom. I'm out of here. You suck. <laughs> I I spend ninety five percent of my life in a backpack, and then when you do let me out, it's just to throw me at the biggest spider I can find, and then I end up getting wrapped up in cobwebs. Oh my good lord! You better have He's some catnip stopping. for me when I get out of here. He's not stopping. <laughs> oh, shit. We, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we officially have lost the cleric to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh my god. The shiggles are real. The shiggles are real. Unbelievable. This is why we actually have a term for this thing. You know, that's why we actually have a word, the shiggles. Because when he goes, he goes. It's funny. Okay. It's fantastic. So. Oh, he just closed his window. <laughs> I did this for a second. Um, oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to help him? I can't. Yeah, you have to risk your life if you want to. I'm not gonna so risk here we my go. life. This is too funny. Um, <laughs> I, so the spider is lunging towards Radavan. Go for um, the He's cat. an easy target because he's on the floor laughing. <laughs> okay, the oh. giant spider lunges forward and once again in an attempt to sink its fangs into you, um, but you easily push it aside with the swinging arc of your shore, uh, of your shield. Alright. Hey. Okay, Woo. um, it is. Um. Back to Racer. Okay, um. So I want to attempt to hit it in its big butt. Okay, you want to, like, <laughs> attempt to. 
I this point, yo. Come on. Come on. I like big butts in a camera. Yeah, here. You no, know, because I figure that will probably do more damage than from the frontal. Okay. Go so, right so um, you're, gonna try to, you're gonna try to move in and stab at it from here. Um. Yeah. As long as I'm out of range of the hex and bomb. Um, you. I mean, it looks like you are from here. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is. D twenty. Are you trying to hit it with the short sword? Yes. D twenty plus one then. Actually, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. The. Um, yes, it's a hit. D six. D six damage for four. Yay. Okay. That's a little of seventeen damage. This thing. Okay, it is starting definitely to get. It's starting to look worse for wear. Yeah, and we're um, flying too, right? Radavan. Yo, doing it. The power of the shiggles has inspired me to win. There you go. St. Cuthbert is, is bestowed. By missing you. entirely. There you go. You lunge forward <laughs> with your morning star and miss. Um, you still staying, staying at the back here? Um, I'm going to start to move towards uh, Cal to help him out. Okay. You're going to try to move along the... I go, I, 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 yeah. Move right, along you know, the as sides. Long as, I mean, the spider's pretty occupied between Rad yeah. and Racer. And I'm going to so, start pulling at the spider webs with my staff. Kind of free your familiar from the goo. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Nope. Okay, once again, the spider lunges at Radavan. Um, and again misses. The spider sucks. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay um, with this. Racer, your I'm turn. I'm going to stabby stabby again. Lunge forward with a short sword. And wow. misses. Radavan swings <laughs> with the morning star. Dude, okay, all right. Come on, baby. No. And also misses. Okay, Kia, you've managed to pull Cal free. Yay! Um, and he is covered in sticky, sticky white cobwebs, <laughs> and is thoroughly pissed. But he's alive. <laughs> okay. Good. But the spider once again lunges forward. This time, not missing Radavan. Oh. Uh -oh. As Radavan attempts to bring his shield up, the weight of the spider presses down and the fangs slide over the top, sticking into his shoulder. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Which yeah. does. Nine points of damage. Holy shit. The oh my god. these gosh. fangs, which are basically the size of It's like scaring me. Oh my god. Sticks right down into his shoulder, and the pain is excruciating. Um, you need to make a, another <laughs> fortitude saving oh, throw. Oh god. Um, Dude. Dude. You have your plus to that, though, right? Yes, he does. He had a, he cast resistance on himself, so hopefully the resistance so it's will make it. So it's D twenty plus uh, five. Plus five? Uh, no, well, your fortitude is normally plus five, right? No, plus no, it's seven. It's three. <laughs> oh no, my fortitude's seven. eight. My fortitude's eight. Right. eight so now it's an additional plus two. You're at plus ten. I've been laughing too much. Yeah. You're at plus ten. There you go. That's still horrible. <laughs> Which is with, with the plus 10, it is just, and I mean just, enough. Resist that's, that's Jesus. So good. Without the, see, once again, without that spell, would have been, been ugly. So I'm at 8 health, oh my but god. But you still got skewered by this darn thing. The fangs on it are like, you know, as I said, they're like huge, massive, long daggers. <laughs> as they both sunk into you. Huge, big wounds. What is Milk saying? <laughs> Throw Cal at the spider butt, he'll stick to it. Guaranteed fatigue. <laughs> there you go. Earl, oh, oh, you're familiar. There's your touch of it. There's your touch spell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just find that so funny right now. I just I can't help pretty, it. That was pretty hilarious. I'm sorry. I just visioned this cat. <laughs> How much health does Radavan have? Um, 17. He's now 8. He, he, just, he, he, keeps, he keeps basically casting cure wounds on himself. So he's he, keeping himself topped up. All right. Um. So back to Racer. Hmm. Uh. And you oh. still have this plan to do. <laughs> yeah. Um. I uh, shanky shanky. All right, lunge and stab. Yes. Oh, there we go, Racer, with the short sword and Yay. a nineteen is enough to score. A nineteen or twenty is a crit range for a short sword, so you have a chance to crit. Roll again. No, so it's just a hit. D six. Never. 
Fuck. Minus two. Actually, it's D4, isn't it? Or no, sorry, no, D6. Short rather. short is D6, but still minus two because of your strength loss. Oh. So, oh. one. So you hit it for one. one. Hey, you hit it. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Rad. I guess I'm doing Rad it. Rad, old buddy. Oh, God. I'm just so dead right now. It's not funny. I need to back away from this creature. Yeah, I'm so dead. That, right, that shoulder lunge and miss. Okay. Um, Shoot. Right, Kia, so you've got Cal back. What do you want to do? Yep, I'm backing away and oh, letting use... Cal um, try to brush against the spider again. Oh, so Cal's right. trying it again. <laughs> yep. Okay, go Cal. Go Cal. Well, you know, it distracts it That's from Random Man, gonna... which is good. You no, know, if you're familiar and gets killed, it's going to kill you, probably. <laughs> it's going to hurt. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. Cal, okay, so it's just a touch effect. Okay, so Cal successfully brush brushes against the spider leg. And run back towards um, me. And you're basically, and you cast the fatigue spell, right? Yes. That, that was the goal. Okay, so yes, you successfully cast fatigue on the spider. Woo! Which basically wears the spider down a little bit, which is good. It all helps. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, it's the spider's turn. Um, Cal is going to get the hell out of Dodge after doing that. He's not going to do that. He's not stupid. <laughs> it's a cat. Um, Cats are kind of... Uh, okay. okay. It lunges forward again, barely missing Radovan. As Radovan cringes at the prospect of being <gasps> skewered to the floor by this thing. Goodness. Holy moly. This spider, dude. This, is got, this, is, this spider has got your number. Okay. Um, Racer. Return. Stabby, stabby. Nine, 18. 18. Okay, you hit it. Um, D6 minus. Do I get crit with that or no, no? It's a 19 or a 20 to get a crit with a short sword. Well, I got 19 with the plus one. Uh, it's the dice, the actual dice roll. Ah. Has to be a 19 or a 20. But you hit it. So D6 minus four. Uh, minus oh, two. Sorry. sorry, minus two. So it would have been two then. Yeah, so you hit it for another two. Okay. This thing is really starting to slump now. Um, it's not able to hold its full weight up anymore on its wounded and damaged legs. Um, Radovan, it's right there in front of you, ready to be finished off, if you can do so. It's still a threat. I mean, it can still attack, but <laughs> it's not Doing it. very far. Everyone pray to Cuthbert. Come on, I want to see it. There we go. Pray to Cuthbert. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, Wait, yes! There you go. You hit it. D8. Oh, and uh -oh. we reached our four-hour limit. Ladder is... We're waiting for Radovan to roll. Is down. Yes. D8 plus two. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> We're all dark. It looks so weird. <laughs> We're so dark. For nine. Okay, you smash the spider Yay! and bring it crushing to the ground. It is no more. It there we go. We're back. To be. There, you go. <gasps> there you go. It grazed you awesome. out. Awesome. There you go. Okay, so this big, massive, gooey spider is dead. You have the weird looking hexapon plant over here. Um, and you also have the two cocoons. All right, I would like to have something to throw at the plant, whether it be hacked like off spider legs or whatever's in the cocoon. <laughs> yeah, to see if it, like, yeah. retaliates. Well, the, 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 the plant is tethered to the floor. It can't move. Yeah, but the tethered those plant, doesn't it have roots? Oh, well, yeah. That's what I mean, but it, it, it doesn't okay. have legs. It can't get up and move. I know, well, but I it can still strike, oh, yeah, it looks absolutely. like. Yeah. So you should throw a pebble or something and see how mm -hmm. far it can strike. I'm gonna get my butt a little bit away from this All thing. Right. Yeah. Alrighty. So, what what do you guys want to do? Let's open um, up a cocoon and maybe. Noticing, there's... however, that the moonlight is starting to shift off of it now. Oh god. Uh -oh. So you, have long, you have a very short okay, period okay, of time. Okay. 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 Throw the cat at it. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just throw a spider leg. Just throw a spider leg real quick. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna hack a leg and chuck it. Okay, as you hack the leg and throw it towards it, one of the uh, one of the tendrils lashes out with a sword attached to it and hacks the spider leg in half. Like it attacks it. It's like... Well, well. Oh, that's nice. Um, what if, okay, um, should I shoot my bow at it, guys? Yes, definitely. Okay, shooting, 25. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. 20. And look at that dice roll. <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> Kind of sort of. Uh, yeah, so yes, it's you a fire. You hit it with an arrow. Hit. Roll for your chance to crit. Ooh. Uh, and it hits, so it is a crit. So you're gonna double your damage. So D6 times, and then you're gonna double it. So D6 times two. Uh, times two. 
Can I put times two or just, just roll it and then double it? Four. Two. So you okay? So you hit it for four, but the arrow sticks into the body part of the sp- of the um hexenbaum plant, and strangely enough, it bleeds. Blood is coming out. Ooh. I think just sh- keep shooting at it. You know, like I don't want to yeah. get in range of it, but until no, it dies. No, either. Okay. So is that what you want to do? Shooting? Yeah. Okay, then you don't need to roll because you're going to kill it. I'm so glad you guys are not so dumb as to run in and actually try to melee that thing when you don't have to. I I, I really had wondered. I was like, are they actually going to do this? (laughs) Okay, so you basically plug and get some of its blood too. That would be interesting. Until the plant is dead. All right. Dead. Hexenbomb is dead. Victory music? Oh, shit. Victory. (laughs) Victory. Victory. What weapons does it have? Can we steal any of them? Um, they're yeah. all basically things that it would have gotten from like goblins and stuff like that. So it, it has... Um... Okay. Okay, victory music coming in. Yes! Yay! Yay! Okay. Victory! Victory of death. So, okay, so, uh, yes, you have a plant. Um... <clears throat> Well, being those, as I am the resident like... herbalist, right. I should probably be the one to harvest. Okay, go ahead. Make a herbalist check. And let me it's, change your It exists. Out. That's all I'm saying out loud, Ra. Right yeah, at now. least you know it's, it's real. real. This is crazy. Oh, and you are so lucky. <laughs> okay. I would have been so um, pissed. You I would basically have been so mad. gently slice the plant open and nestled at the very base of it. That's fine. Thanks for the follow. Um, you find three strange little gooey, um, gooey little pebble, uh, like little pellets. Um, they're like covered Yay. in blood. They're almost like little tiny hearts. Like you can actually see the blood seeping out of them. Oh my gosh! Very strange, weird, and twisted. So I will put them safely in a nice little vial. Okay. Alrighty, but there are in fact only three. So that's crazy. Don't lose any. I will not lose them. All right, what do you guys want to do now? Get the fuck um, out of there. Let's wait. Let me open these cocoons real quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which one you want to open? Closest. This one. That one right here. Slice. I got a short sword. Um, yes. Pack it open to find what a surprise! Yet another goblin. However, this goblin, um, the he's the same. He's um, that's life. Thanks for following me. He's the same in the fact that he's all of his moisture has been sucked clean from his body, so it's really like a mummified goblin. But here's the awesome thing with this guy. Instead of wearing the crappy stuff that you're used to seeing goblins with, this guy actually has like what looks like some chainmail on. Ooh, um, Radovan! He is got a even though it's kind of hanging around his neck right now because it doesn't didn't fit his head anymore. Uh, what appears to be a very thin gold band um, almost like it might have possibly been Snaggin. it's either a big necklace or it was a small crown or something like that snagging um, putting it on my head however cr- <laughs> um, clutched in his hand um, even though he's still dead is a morning star huh. um, it is kind of dusty however the difference is this one doesn't look like it was rudimentarily flo- thrown together by goblins this looks like it was actually made by someone that knew how to make a weapon so, mm, come here, Risa. red man. Yes. <clears throat> um, How about we divvy up this this cocoon here, um, appropriately? Yeah. And there is a chest of coins that we could also divvy up and try oh, to get well, out of here. Follow, buddy. From Ooh. when we first entered the cave with the goblin shaman. So, I'll have we we did this. So let's you know get the hell out of here. And do what we need to do, and get better outfits, and you know, rocket. Do you think it's Do you think it's worth checking this other cocoon before we get out of here? Uh, well, I hadn't finished with this guy yet. Uh. Oh, there's <laughs> more. He also, oh, actually okay. has um, <laughs> still, although it is in very shabby shape, um, what appears to be a pouch, like a belt pouch, still hanging down halfway down his leg now because it's not fitting his waist. Um, and there's a couple of gold coins laying right below it, to give, which would give you the indication that it probably has some kind of money in it. Okay. 
Let's All take it I'm all. really interested in here is the uh, gold crown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab that. Like. Okay, so Kia, you're gonna snatch up the little gold crown. And I'm okay. gonna hopefully see if Does anybody uh, gets mad at me. It, it, the chainmail is the size of the goblin, so it's obviously too small for me, right? Oh, it would be too small for you, yeah. Could sell it's it, not as good a, It's not a good protection, it. a, a, unless it's... But what about the morning star? I but the morning it. star, yeah. So I heft up the morning star and give it a look. Okay. Um, once you take some of the dust and everything away from the morning star, kind of clean it off a little bit, you notice that the handle, the shaft, is intricately carved. Um, the head of the morning star... Um, itself seems to be um, not too dissimilar from yours, but um, <coughs> it seems to almost have like um, a shinier quality to it. I mean, like it, it shines up very quick as soon as you start just rubbing the dust off underneath. It's clearly yeah. made of something of value. Ooh. Okay then, I'll take be taking it. this. Okay, so you um, take the morning star. taking that. Yeah. Um, what about racer? I'll I'll pick up the coins off the ground, grab the coin purse, and I have a little bit of urgency. I don't want to see any more spiders, so I'm gonna say, you guys, let's let's hack up the that other one quick and let's get out of here, or let's grab that chest and then let's get out of here. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> check the other check the other um, cocoon, the one over here. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Okay. Um, in that one, it's kind of like the the other one that you found before. It, it's just a goblin. Nothing of okay. any real value or anything. Ooh, let's get out of here. Careful. I, I take the chainmail off the goblin to sell for later. Alrighty. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so you're going to drag that out. Yep. Okay. Okay, guys, so you basically... Uh, let me turn the cube. Um, you, you all make your way back out of the cave, um, back round to that chamber that had the uh, the chest. We and take it outside the cave, yeah. And you're going to drag it outside the cave. Mm -hmm. Right. Alrighty. So once you, you haul that out... As I said, it weighs about 200 pounds in weight. So, I mean, it's it's movable by you guys, but it's definitely more of a pick it up one handle each and carry it. No one person <laughs> okay. is like... Oh, I'm, I'm really okay with it. this. There you go. Okay. <coughs> so you get that out. You have the three You have the three seeds, which is what you came for. Um, so where wow, do you want to go from here? Wow, we actually found it. Holy crap. That's we should enough. probably... Uh, try to go uh, back to that guy's... Kind of fly. Thanks yeah. For that, yeah, we got to go back to the mountain man. Okay, so and you then guys to are head off. back to... Um, to Taryn's place. Yes. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and move you to Taryn. Taryn Draco, right? Taryn Draco, yeah. Taryn Draco. Alright. Um, cool. So I'll move you guys to the oh, map and over here. Okay, so you get to um, Taryn Draco's log cabin. Um, as soon as you approach, he like you can see him like peering out the crack of the door like he heard you coming he's checking to see who it is and what's approaching <laughs> hail uh. friend <laughs> ow it's you lot still alive then barely can we come in please <laughs> oh well yes absolutely come on okay so he welcomes you in oh i one... nearly fall into the bear rug <laughs> pretty <laughs> much once inside, get off me um once inside, you basically very quickly, um, you know, you feel the warmth of the, um, uh, you feel the warmth of the fire bathe <laughs> over you. Um, you know, he offers you some hot broth. Once again, you know, you're having to share cups and mugs and stuff because he only has two. But um, I have my own. I'm not sharing. <laughs> right. He says, "Well, what'd you find then? Did you find them nasty little goblins?" We did, but we got what sure we were did. looking for, and that was the important thing. Oh, well, good. So, you want to stay here the night and make it off in the morning, or are you on your way now? If uh, we could no. stay, that would be most helpful. We'll give you some coins for thanks. Oh, uh, and he, his eyes kind of fall upon the chest. Oh, what's in that? Uh, some of our gear. In there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just gear, well, man. Not that money would do me any good anyway up here. I'm done with civilization myself. Money's of no value to a man living in the mountain. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, we need to sleep. Well, we well, got, I need really. to sleep. Yeah, I, I need to sleep. Okay, so you guys are all going to just rest here the night? I do yes, my sir. cantrip heal on myself and 
Yeah. I think I'm gonna sleep with one arm draped over this pretty little chest. <laughs> sleep with one arm over chest so they can't make up with your loot. That That's loots. funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, well, you get a peaceful night. Um, he doesn't interrupt you. Doesn't mess with you. Um, feeds you in the morning. Gives you some fresh water, which is pretty good because your your rations are done. I mean, yeah. you, you. I think. Well. I think Kia got six days worth of rations. Mm -hmm. That was idiotic, huh? But you've split that between... You've, you've traveled for six days, and you've had to split that. Now, fortunately, on the way here, you did get fed a little bit by your guide, so... Mm -hmm. um, but the food is just about... You know, you're, you're pretty much on crumbs at this point. Okay. So he feeds you up pretty well in the morning. Awesome. So, um, I right, and you want to make your way back, or what? Do you, what's, what's the game plan? Uh, to Hanzo Falafel, or...? Well, yeah, Hans is yeah. Hans is back there down in the foothills waiting. In theory, waiting down there with in Bill theory, with right. Bill the pony and your cart. It doesn't actually mean he's necessarily <laughs> still alive either. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, let's hope. Let's hope and pray to the same comfort. Yeah, let's um, make our way. You know, I, in the morning I pray to my gods, um, my God, and we make way. We go. Gods? How's my my the poison gods. poison factor? Um, you are still under the effects of the, um, of the poison. You'll feel like crap. Falafel! Falafel! <clears throat> okay. Alright. Uh. Did you fix the screen? <laughs> um, yes. Oh, okay. crap, no, we're, um, we're on the, uh, I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to change. I actually meant to change the roleplay screen. Sorry, guys. Okay, so um, I was I was fixing something on the map. Um, okay. I, so what do you want to you want to head back or you want to yes. hang out with this guy? <laughs> no, we're we're gonna leave him in the dust. We're gonna go back. All yeah. right. Okay, so back to Hans Falafel. There we are. All right, so you guys were here. Um, when you get back there, Hans Falafel is there with the cards. <gasps> Woo! Um, Yay! You notice that there is a mountain lion, like laying dead on the back of the cards. Oh cart. my gosh! Um, <laughs> and he's got a huge gash um, on his leg. But it looks like he actually defended your cart for you while while you were gone. Good man. Nice. Good man indeed. I think we should reward him handsomely, and I probably would have discussed this with my my fellow travelers. Right. But um, hands. I think we once we get back to town, we got the plan to save your town. Okay. Um. He's like, really? I dare but hope. He said, actually, honestly, I was only going to wait one more. I was only going to wait in the morning. If you didn't come back, I was going to leave. I kind of thought oh, that wow. you'd probably well, be dead by now, but. I'm glad you're, you're not. I'm very oh, glad you're not. Very grateful he said, for your but, uh, service let's, and waiting. Let's get out of here. He said, I'm sick and tired of listening to the strange noises that I keep hearing around here and fending off all kinds of manners of unpleasant creatures. It's Talio! <laughs> Alrighty. So you head back. Alright. Um, basically, um, the journey back is nowhere near as unpleasant as it is coming here. It's not been raining as much. Um, it rains a little one day, but it's not too bad. Um, you kind of make your way back across the fields of sorrow, and after four, um, after about on the fourth day, finally you raise and come up around the bluff towards the <gasps> city of or the town of sorrow. Yay! Finally, back to sorrow. Yes. What are the odds? Ever see that place again? And the oh. tavern, right? And the tavern. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, here you guys are. Um, making your way back in. Know where so we're going the, first. Once you get back, um, you know, um, Hans is like, well, I don't know what you need to do to save everybody, but if you say you've got what you need, then I hope you get on with it quick and try to ease everyone's suffering. Thank you so much. Uh, here's here's some gold. <laughs> um, how much are you gonna give him? 
How I much don't know. Is in the chest? <laughs> Uh, in the chest was a lot of silver pieces, but no one really, I mean, no one stood there to individually count them. And you still yeah. have a really... Just give them, like, I mean, I, a I'm lot, like, assume, handfuls. Oh, so you're just going to give like, a huge, just, like, grab a big old couple, like, a scoop your hands in and hand him a big handful of silver pieces. Okay, um, he is eternally grateful. He's like, oh, really? For me? Well, uh, thank you very much. That's way more than I expected to get paid, but I suppose it was dangerous. It was, sir. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, um, Racer, on the way back, I'm assuming you would have paid attention to the contents of that purse that you found? Absolutely. Uh, 56 gold pieces. Okay. 32 silver and 22 copper. Oh my and gosh. three small gems were in there as well. Well, I would have shared everything with them except the gems. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to make an appraisal check on those gems? I would love to. Go ahead. <laughs> Please list. 14. 14. Okay, you estimate they're probably worth approximately anywhere between 60 and 100 apiece. So 60, 60 to 100 gold for each gem, three of them. So you need to note, note those down. Awesome. Um, three small <coughs> gems? Mm -hmm. What colors? Um, they are all kind of like a off white color. They're not diamonds, but. Mm. They're more like semi-precious gems. They're not like Mil gold. milky diamonds, milky they're like, jewels. They're, they're kind of they're rough. Like they're not, moonstones. That kind of thing, yeah. They're rough. <laughs> they're not polished or or, or prepped in any way. No jewel crafter has ever touched these. All right. But um, alrighty. So um, yes, yeah, so you've got that. So what do you guys want to do now? You're back at town. Um, Hans Falafel has gone home to his house. I think we should head straight for the tower. Um, yeah, and I do need, like, we need, like, a final money. How much did everybody get count? Uh, did you not write it down? Because I don't have it all. <laughs> eh, I didn't write down what you said, no. Okay, um, right, you, you, you can there do was that 50, later. 56 gold pieces. 56 gold, okay. 32 silver pieces, 22 mm -hmm. copper pieces, and the three gems. Okay, cool, I will divvy, we'll divvy that up after then. Right, Radovan's carrying the mace in the, mor um, the, uh, the, morning, the morning star and the chain mail as well. Yep. Um, and he uh, has the little gold circlet. The little crowny circlet. Thing. Oh, it's on my head. <laughs> oh, you're wearing it? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, she put it on right away. Oh, there you go. Right. Well, Mostly it. so I can have something for my Halloween costume next week. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, so what do you guys... So you've done that. What do you want, what do, you want to do from there? Tower. Okay, so Ashland, you... Ashland, Maine. Have, Okay, you head straight to the tower of Ashland, Maine. Alrighty. Um, well, once you get there, you know the you know the palaver that you have to go through to get to the top of the tower. Absolutely. Um, so he lowers down the. You hear the ratcheting climb as the uh, clank 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 as the cage is lowered from the top down to the bottom, um, and the door opens up for you. Um, are you going to ride on the outside, or are you going to go inside this time? <laughs> I'll go inside. <laughs> okay, so you all climb in, and he hauls it back up to the very top. Okay, once you get back up there, the familiar sight of the wizard Ashlyn Main greets you. He says, well, did we succeed? Risa? We did. I looked to Risa. This is, haha, excellent. E excellent, yes. Um, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> um, <laughs> alright he says well let me see them let me see them a little something I'll let you see them but I want some information before you can have them he says information oh what we discussed you mean yes about the uh, the marks so I'll have the vial okay I'm very interested I'm gonna scoot on up he says well um, I have no intention of going back on my word he said, you have done very well in retrieving these seeds. Truth and is, almost are... lived our, lost our lives in the process. Right. Many says, times. Yes. Many times. Many times. He says, well, I didn't expect it to be easy, not going into the mountains and all. But um, let me tell you about the marks. He says, so this is what I was able to find out. And he's kind of looking at Kia when he says all this. Um, like she would understand more than anybody else. He says, the marks contain powerful enchantment abjuration and divination magic. There's also some semblance of necromantic magic there too. Um, no one mage was the 
architect of these marks, that's for sure. And indeed, whoever did this was way more powerful than I am. Um, now, I can attempt to remove any curses tied to these marks, if you wish. Or dispel the magics. Um, although I doubt the latter will have much effect due to the fact that they are of so much more power than I could possibly hope to remove. But I will try if you wish. Um, there are, of course, more ma more powerful magic users that may have better luck um, in removing those things, he said, but I will indeed try if you wish me to. Also, I know um, some wizards, possibly some more powerful sorceresses, have been known to break enchantments. Sadly, I can't do that with you. However, I know of a colleague that might be able to help you. And I will gladly tell you of where he was last known, or where his last known whereabouts to me, anyway. Um, but in my part, the best I can offer is to attempt to remove any curses that are associated with it. I have a feeling that to r truly rid yourself of this thing is going to not be a simple thing. But if I can remove any curse curses that are associated with this, it would at least be a start. But what are course, the chances of it going wrong? <laughs> um, well, with magics as powerful as these, um, I must confess that there are certain elements that I do not truly understand. It would take me weeks of study to possibly delve and find out more. Um, and I really don't know that you want to stand around and wait that long. You're welcome to if you wish. I'm going to step up and offer my arm. <laughs> Might as well try. Go for it. He says, very well. Kind of raises his hands up, begins an incantation, or waving his arms around and moving his hands down over your um, over your tattoo. Um, at the end of the incantation, suddenly, the, the pain is excruciating. Ooh. It like, rips you like a vice. Um... For a brief second, the, the tattoo glows extremely bright, bright blue, and you're fearful, like, oh my god, this is what happened to the this girl when it. she exploded. <laughs> She's gonna explode! Um, <laughs> basically, um, how many hit points did you have? I have eight. eight. You had eight. Okay, um, so you are down to two. Oh my gosh. Um, the good news is, after that, the, the, blue, the blue magic fades. Okay. Um... And he, he kind of looks at you and he says, There, the spell is complete. Um, I hope that, um, I hope it was effective. I hope it was effective. And then he kind of studies your arm and he says, It would appear that some of the necromantic magic has in fact been diminished. Although I was unable to remove all of the magics, I think I have definitely helped to remove some of it. Unfortunately, I cannot control the amount of pain that we are in. I'm sure that that has something to do with the uh, the incantations that were cast upon it in the first place. But um, what about you? Would you like me to do this for you as well, young elf and priest? I of just kind of wobble away and sit down in the chair. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it really uh, took it out of you. It was like yeah, it, oh, I step forward and say definitely. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Right. And I, oh, I, I show the dead. mark. Hold on, I'm gonna switch to my other camera. So you're gonna hold it. You're gonna hold him the arm. I will. Yeah. Yes. All right. He cast it on both of you, um, and pretty much the same thing happens. Radavan, you're down to four hit points. Um, Racer, you're down to three. Well. And it, it takes. I mean, it it literally like this. When this thing goes off, it's like. Yep. Ouch. Takes everything out of you. <laughs> it's like, and you're seriously fatigued. Crazy. You're like, oh. Like slumped to the floor, it's barely you know you can barely stand. He says, "Well, uh, I think I've lived up to my part. What about you? Are you going to hand me those um seeds? Throw them away! Throw them okay, away!" He kind of reaches out and takes them from you quickly. <laughs> Just in, he says, "Yes, in truth, be known that these are extremely valuable, and the monetary worth is little compared to the fact that this will allow me to finally." Um, cultivate a cure for the people here of Soromorn. So you have done them a great service. Uh, I will get to work on this straight away. Um, you look like you probably could use rest. Yep. I'm sure yeah. if you go and notify the mayor that we have 
successfully managed to get the seeds, and I'm working on the cure, that he will take care of your uh, needs. Let's do it, guys. Come on. And I, I hobble back into the cage. Alrighty. We're all hobbling. Hobble, hobble. A hobble, hobble. Shoulder slumps. It's tired. <laughs> It's like, All right, so I'm going to go back to Saramorn, and you're going to head to the mayor, or are you going to head to the inn? Mayor. Got to go to the mayor. Okay. Got to go to the mayor. Got to do it. All righty, so once you get to um, the mayor's, the, um, the second that everybody sees you, um, nobody offers you any resistance. No one gives you a hard time getting into the heap. Yay! I mean, everybody is like, welcome. as soon as they see you, they, they know what the implications are. Okay, once yeah. you're inside, the mayor immediately rushes up to greet you. Oh, hello, hello, I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> so, um, did we, d dare I hope, do you have the cure? We it's found been... what we seeked. Mm. Um, you notice that he's got sweat <laughs> pouring down his face. He looks like, <laughs> um, as in an afterthought, most of the people have. Um, it's kind of like, you know, looking back oh. at it, you realize that all these people are showing the signs of the of the malady again, but it's yeah. only been barely like two weeks. Oh no. So it's clear that this the, the, the tonic that you that they have been taking is starting to seriously not work anymore. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but hey, hopefully the wizard can make the cure for these guys, right? So oh, yeah, and we do have it and it looks like just in the nick of time too, sir. Oh well well as I said, um if you were able to help us, um, I did. I do remember saying something of a monetary reward. Yes, I remember. And he kind of rumble, rumbles around inside his big robes and pulls out a little sack of money and shakes it. He says, here you go. And just tosses it straight forward. Um, and basically there's... Um, nine Ninja catches it. Yeah, nine <laughs> gold pieces in there. He says, there's 30 gold for each of you. And as I said before, um, anything you need at the tavern is on me, taken care of. Done. Any Thank provisions you. that you need to help get you back or on your way? Um, I don't expect you want to stick around here, but obviously you're welcome to as long as you wish. Well, right now we really need some rest, but we will get the arrangements done in the coming days. Well, I, I, I totally, of course, understand. So, um, Willa, thank you very much for all your assistance. Our, our town owes you a, a, a great debt. Um, in you fact, have no idea. Um, do, you, do you have a... <laughs> Do, does your little group have any kind of name or <laughs> name? Uh, name? Oh, you know, like Band oh. of Brothers or the Ravens, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what mercenary uh, company. I, 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 I Two just... elves and an idiot. <laughs> Two elves and an idiot. That's an interesting name. Well, yeah. I, I just was, walk out. I was thinking of possibly declaring. Um, a national holiday in your honor, but I don't really feel I can have uh, two idiots or uh, two elves and an idiot day. So um, we'll get back to you on that, Mayor. We'll get back to you on that. Well, one. No, I think we'll just call we'll call it All Saviors Day. There you are, and we'll 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 uh, we'll write your names in the book. And Saviors of Saramorn. There you are. All right. It'll be it'll be known the day are. that <laughs> the day that our new friends came and saved us all from such. You're a talking and we're gone. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> goodbye. Um, don't forget to come back and see me again soon. We will. Okay. Um, so you guys, head, you guys are heading to the tavern. Yeah. <laughs> you hate this guy, don't you? We're <laughs> fucking tired. Douche. Okay. Oh, so you we got our the asses the tavern. kicked, man. Okay. Um, once you get to the tavern, um, the innkeeper, as per normal, um, he recognizes you. He's very quick to. Oh, welcome. Come on in. What can we get you? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I was hoping that something nasty had eaten you in the mountains, Mr. Cleric. Hey, we just saved your town's ass. Stay in my ass. All you've get managed to do is... Food. Ever since you've been here, it's nothing but work, Shut, work, no, work. No, Give me whiskey now. Leave me alone <laughs> later. Ian, please Thank fine. you. Get us some three rooms and a lot of hot water. Sally kind of wanders over and get, get like, leans right into where you two girls are. He's like... However you manage to put up with him is just beyond me. Barely. Very individual. Have to be Smack him around a bit if you like. <laughs> okay, she goes and brings an All entire right. bottle of whiskey and stamps it, like slams it down on the table. Here. Hope you choke on it, you bastard. You wench. <laughs> okay. I go to my done. room. Yeah. Um, Close the, the door. The innkeeper makes sure that all of you get a nice, big, hefty meal sent up as well. 
Um, the hit points that you lost from the tattoo return at the rate of about one an hour. It's not real physical damage. It was more like just latent draining of energy. So after a good night's rest, you, should, you guys will probably be fine. Okay. <clears throat> All righty. Um, and that brings us to the end of the game session. Congratulations <laughs> on getting the Holy seed. Hi, I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master on How We Roll. If you'd like to follow my personal channel, it's twitch.tv slash Gorbad, or on my other social media, at Gorbad for Twitter, or at Gorbad TV for YouTube. Hi guys, I'm Bane. You want to hang out with me some more, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Bane1271, Twitter at Bane1271, or Facebook and YouTube under Bane Blackstar. See you guys soon. Hello, my name is Shagget, and I play Radovan Rainier, a cleric on How We Roll. You can follow me on www.twitch.tv slash shagget. Hey, I'm Jane. You can follow me on my personal channel at twitch.tv slash janeivana, or if you'd like, on my Twitter at Jane on Twitch with a zero, not an O. Peace.